гребаное небо... Good evening, 47. Прости, Джо в сделку не входил. Поклянись, что все, что ты сказал про цикад, правда. Зараза. Летя в гребаное небо, ты думал, что схватил судьбу за вертлевую жопу. Закончи то, что начал. Наша жизнь прекрасна, брат. Вот бы она не менялась. Никогда не меняла нас. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. No one gets hurt. Go! Open the door! They'll get worse than hurt! Hey! Hey! Ah, come on! Finally! Don't do any crap! Let's go! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Hands behind your back! Come on, Nestor! We're giving you everything you want! Don't even think about it! I'll do it! I'll do it! Okay! Get in there! Sit tight! I'll handle the plastic! Don't blow yourself up! Listen up! In the back! He Come on! Mean? He's gonna Hurry. kill us in here! Leave us alone! We didn't do shit to you! All set! Phone it in! I'm making the call! <laughs> Alright! We gonna do this? Huh? <laughs> Show me the money! Slow and steady, T. Slow and steady. <coughs> oh! There it is! Oh, there's enough here for us all to enjoy. <laughs> Depends on how you look at it. We gotta move! Give it up! I got him! I saw your face, I'll remember you. You forget a thousand things every day. How about you make sure this is one of them? I've seen his eyes! He's crazy! Nope. Oh, it's crazy! I think. Be cool. Fuck! She didn't have to do that! Let's get going! There'll be time for grieving later! Yeah, you got that right. Move! I'm setting the charges. They're on a timer, so brace yourselves. Oh, fuck, you hear that? Sirens. Fuck the cops. T, hit the shutter switch. Who snitched? Wrong profession. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die breathing right. Let's move. Come on. Let's move it. Alright? Fuck! Come 
on. Ditch the car, all right? We can go this way to the chopper. No. Hey, stick to the plan. What? Stick to the fucking plan. Come on. Where the fuck's the chopper? Fuck. 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 I'm gonna check around back. Ah! Oh! Oh! The fucking bed! Someone must have fucking talked! <laughs> hey, Brad's gonna be fine. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Fuck. Fuck. I'm hit. Oh, Jesus. Key, you gotta get out of here. I'm gonna leave you, Mikey. Go. God, I'm not gonna be. I'm fucking gonna bleed out. Go. Ah! No! Come on! Come on! was not always a good husband, <laughs> not always a good citizen. He did not die a hero's death, but he was a man. <laughs> Our Lord was crucified with two thieves. So perhaps we should not judge. We are born of sin and we die in sin. And in this, Michael is like anybody else. Father, we do not know your infinite mysteries, but we know that you will show mercy to our friends. Your son, James, he's a good kid. He's a good kid? A, a good kid? Why? Does he help the fucking poor? No. He sits on his ass all day, smoking dope and jerking off while he plays that fucking game. If that's our standard for goodness, no wonder this country's screwed. And what about you? What about me? Hey. I don't have the advantages that kid has. By the time I was his age, I'd already been in prison twice. I robbed banks. I ran whores. I smuggled dope. And you consider them achievements? These were the opportunities I had. At least I took them. And where did these opportunities get you, Michael? They got me right fucking here. The end of the road. With a big house and a useless kid. And I'm stuck talking to you because no one else gives a shit. Oh, I'm living a dream, baby. And that dream is fucked. It is fucking fucked. Let it all out. I think I just did. <sighs> oh. Well, I think that's all we have time for. The same time next week? I guess. Oh. I gotta tell you, I ain't too sure this shit is working for me. Hmm. Well, a sense of... Overriding futility is a vital part of the process. Embrace it. Whatever you say, Doc.
just how you feel. Man, shit gotta be around here somewhere. Unless they buried it under the sand, fool. Another brilliant Lamar Davis production. Man, fuck you. Hey, excuse me, homie. Can you tell me where Berto's Beach House is? No, homie, I cannot. Man, would you come on? Fuck. Actually, yeah. It's that house right there, with the yellow stairs. Yeah, good looking out, homie. Appreciate it. Man, get your stupid ass on. Damn, why don't you ask him if he knows the fucking owner? Or better yet, do some skywriting that reads there's a couple niggas here about to boost some cars in case somebody didn't realize. See, what you don't realize is that we ain't boosting. This shit is legit business. Legit? Oh, yeah, I forgot, huh? 401ks, tax returns and all. Yeah, right. You the one all pumped up on doing this lick, nigga. I'm getting my money in the hood. I'm straight, fool. I'm cool. You cool? Cool what? Slanging dope and throwing up gang signs? Yeah, right. Whatever, homie. Yeah, homie. This the spin knot right here. Your boy Simeon wasn't bullshit. Man, get your ass in there. Bring your ass, fool. Always trying to boss somebody. Come on. Come on. Shit. Damn, this nigga must got the baby dead. <laughs> yeah, and all this shit paid for with bad credit. <laughs> Come to daddy. Which one you want, nigga? Oh, you balling hard with the drop top, huh? I might just be. Whatever, nigga. It ain't gonna make you go no faster. Hit me on the speakerphone. I'm moving. Oh, it's like that, nigga? Up here, homie. I'm about to go nice and slow for your bitch ass. Fine. Hey, remember we gotta be careful with these rides, homie. The Simeon ain't about to dock my pay again. Homie, man, if you need some bread, I can hook you up with JB's tow truck. It ain't got glamour, but it's some money to be made. So him and Tanya can smoke crack in peace? Homie, I'm good. Woo! You wanna get whips like this? You gotta stay on your grid nine. Nigga and do some time over nickels and dimes? I stick to repos, dawg. Remember, this is your Terrier's car. Whatever, homie. We going right. What? I hear you. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's cool. Up here, through the studio. Let's show these movie people how we do. Oh, we filming shit here, huh? Down this dirty motherfucker. Okay. I'm schooling your ass, boy. Please, homie. We hanging the left. All right. Keep up, homie. Hey, screw you too, homie. Whatever you say. Ha <laughs> ha, loco! Any ticket we get gonna go on that fool license. Well, in that case, we might as well enjoy ourselves. Hey, be careful! We buzzing the Union Depository, motherfucker! That super bank? Motherfucker, you an idiot. What you going slow up the road for, dog? Move over so the traffic can flow through. Whatever, nigga. I'll let something flow through. Yeah, I don't get you, bro. You are a racist, and I don't like you. And I will not sell you this card. I will not. You make my skin crawl, you neo-Nazi. Hey, you are all the same. You're disgusting. This racist insulted me. Hey, what's up, bro? Who you calling a nigger? No, no, I'm not calling nobody a nigger. Wait, what the fuck? I, I mean, N-word. I, I, that, that's not cool, man. I don't say that. You fucking right, and you better keep it right, because this man right here... He's an international businessman, a multiculturalist. That I could not have said better myself. Ah, 
But seriously, maybe he's not a racist. But I don't think that he is man enough for a car like this. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> this guy right here, him? Get him a hybrid. That's a real man's car. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are right, Lamar. You get a tax rebate. I understand. Money is an issue, eh? Money isn't an issue. This is the best part. Watch this when he real or mean. He gonna get all his full money. Watch this. Look, man, I gotta go. <laughs> hey, Simeon, I'm out. I holler at you, homie. <laughs> it's the best part, man. So, Jimmy, are you sure you are man enough? Take the wheel and show me. Uh... Sure, okay. How about we fall through, homie? This chump change, how I'm gonna knock a bad, grown and sexy bitch if I ain't got a fat peas pizzocket? Who are you trying to impress? Your auntie Denise, with all that ass, nigga, she got ass. She grown, yeah. She grown into a fucking idiot. No, she's sexy. Sexy? She more like obsessed with sex, nigga. Nah, mad for the penis. That's exactly how I like my women. Man, shit, it's good to be home. What's up? Can a low come up in your crib? Man, fuck you. I'll see you at work. Oh, nigga, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe if you got rid of that old yee-yee-ass haircut you got, you get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon the lawyer she fucking with. Nigga. What? Oh, this motherfucker. Ooh, honey. <laughs> Y'all telling me? Oh, he here. We living on top of each other, and it ain't right. Shoo! Shoo! Get on out of here! Okay, baby. I see what the thing you hear. I was on the phone, boy. Don't be listening! Goddamn freeloader. Goddamn, that ass is fat! Franklin! Hey, what's going down, homie? Huh? The market, my boy. Liquidity's a bitch. Get over here so I can give you the new repo list. All right, dawg. I'll be around when I get a chance. Hey, what's up, Simeon? My dear boy, so good to see you. So good. Hold me. <laughs> yeah, look, man. Look, we've been working together for about a few months now, right? Which is why I am very honored to announce to you that you are employee of the month. Huh? Anyway, congratulations. It wasn't easy picking a winner. <laughs> yeah, me, Lamar, your nephew Sacha with the Twitch. Look, man, it's been a real honor, homie. But I gotta move forward in my life. It seems like all I do is let people tell me what to do and I do it and nothing changes. I tell you what, my boy. You tell me exactly what you want and I will very carefully explain to you why it cannot be. What? Today is repossessing vehicles that fools have purchased at exorbitant interest rates. But tomorrow, together, I never had a black son. But if I did, I want him to be just like you. Knock, knock, ah. nigga. <laughs> Hello, What's up, Lamar. What's up, homie? What's up, then, homie? What's up, dog? Franklin here has been awarded Employee of the Month. You fucking with me, right? Man, we both being fucked with, dog. Man, knock it off, man. For real, after all the motherfucking work I put in, man. Man, fuck this Employee of the Month shit, homie. I'm sitting up here trying what to get What you mean, us... fuck this employee of the month shit, man? When it's some shit to be won, goddammit, I want it. I don't give a fuck what it is. You know what I'm talking about? I take no prisoners. I go hard doing this shit. Big dog, big nuts. When names is on the motherfucking board, I want to see my name at the top of that motherfucking next to it. It needs to say, winner. 
<laughs> Maybe next month, huh? Man, fuck next month, Simeon. What about today? I, I demand a retrial. Today is nothing. Just a bike. Hasn't made a payment at all. Some kid at Vespucci Beach. His name is Esteban Jimenez. Is he in a gang? Curiously enough, I did not inquire when he bought the bike. <laughs> we got work to do, uh, employee of the month. Man, fuck you and come on. Man, he's about a yes massa ass nigga. What we waiting for? Magellan Ave, nigga. Vespucci Beach. And you still rolling with that old raggedy ass here? That country bumpkin shit is enough to get us shot right there. I never took you to be old hairstylist type bitch, but now it's all starting to make sense. How about you drive? Hey, wasn't that motherfucker who took the bike that S.A. Vagos do? With the tattoo on his face and shit? Yeah, that was him. Fuck, homie. I don't want no unnecessary bullshit here, all right? Nigga, I don't give a shit. It's a reason Simeon pays a couple of mean-looking motherfuckers to come repo this shit. We ain't Girl Scouts. <laughs> In your case, I ain't so sure about that. Man, step up, nigga. Of course this dude real. Who else gonna have to require a surplus of paper and deficiency of brain cells? He just put a dub down on this bike. 20 G's? With a 3G note? Damn, that motherfucker must be tricked out, dawg. Man, this whole setup designed to take drug money. All right, man, look, we go in quiet. In and out, no fucking drama. I'll try, homie, but I'm one loud, dramatic, brass, crazy, greedy, shoot a motherfucker in the back type motherfucker. And you love me for it, nigga. <laughs> yeah, that's right, homie. Nothing but love, nigga. I'd send me the funny dude, though. Uh, it's gonna be a shame when we get to book his ass and jack him for all this shit. What the fuck you talking about? You're a psychotic motherfucker. That's how shit work, ain't it? You do some jobs for a fool, develop a little uneasy relationship, and then they ask you to do something above and beyond. You fall out, fools get capped, and then you start all over again with some other fool. Where the fuck you get that from? That ain't my life, dummy. The bike should be in one of the lockups down here. Should be is the story of your life, asshole. Repeat after me. Hey! <laughs> Think this crazy motherfucker wants something. Hey, what's up, homie? You all right? No, wait, wait! Away from me! Run for Zappo agents! Uh. Yeah, you thought I was gonna hit your bitch ass, huh? Drunk ass nigga. Shit, man. Play it cool. Yeah, that's right. Keep it moving, bitch. Man, I don't like this shit one bit. Hey, look, let's keep it smooth, homie. Man, your pussy the only thing that's smooth up in this shit. Man, what exactly did I do in a past life to deserve your stupid ass? This is a routine lick, dawg. Chill. Do them Vagos look routine? This a shady-ass alley. Shit, we in Vespucci Beach. We on the wrong side of Vespucci Beach. You should know a block makes a difference. Hey, 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 hold up. It's in one of these lockups. Man, ain't this about a bitch. Ain't no motherfucking bike in here, man. No shit, nigga. Hola, amigos. Hola, S.A. Uh, we saw you trying to creep up in here, man. Yeah? You saw this motherfucker? Oh, shit. Yo, yo. Oh, shit! Oh, oh, oh. Mamo! Fucker. Fucking die. Hey, come on down, everybody. Come on down. Hey, nigga, I would've just got my ass beat over a fucking gunfight. Man, stop being a pussy, nigga, and grab that heat. Bitch! Oh, you got that, homie? Just go on luck, homie. Shit, shit, on your left. Find your bitch ass to cover. Go! Oh! 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 Over there! They coming out that door! What was your... Oh, ah! Get that car, they trying to get out of here! How many they got? Man, fuck this! Light them niggas up! Whoa, you deadly motherfucker! You still breathing, homie? Yeah, barely, homie. Shit, we gotta get the fuck away from this shit. 
Man, we only came here for a bite. And that a motherfucker is right there. Hey, nigga, come here. We got your pink slip. May as well get this shit done. Let's get him, homie. I want to get paid. Paid ain't worth shit when you're doing 25 with an L. We massacred those motherfuckers. Shit. Man, you lost him already. That's a monster fucking bike you riding, stupid. Pop that fool. We need him on his ass so we can get what we came for. Shoot him down. We got it. Dog, we gotta lay low. Get the bike and meet me at the car wash on Innocence. All right, I'll see you over there. Man, I can't hang with your ass for a while, bro. You a psychopath. You done finally fucking lost it. Nigga, that's that Apache blood in me, homie. You ain't lucky I ain't do a flying tomahawk and scalp they motherfucking ass. We can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sitting chief asshole. Nigga, and we ain't going to neither, nigga. I'm gonna keep this motherfucker for myself. Tell Simeon we couldn't recover. You fucking tell him, you fucking moron! don't like me because you think that I am an Arab. What? No. What are you talking about? Something like that. What? Excuse me. Wait. That oh, wait, boy. I, I... I am his mentor. I am so proud of you. What do you mean, a mentor? Don't worry about that. Okay, so what you got for him? James DeSanta. Some kid. He is already late on his payments, and I have this bad feeling that he will do more damage to the car than we can get back from him in the exorbitant interest rate payments. Huh? Just go and get it. The house is on um, uh, Hampstead uh, off Eclipse. It's an SUV. Huh? Some Rockford Hills daddy's boy nonsense. Don't worry about it. Try to bring the car back in good condition, huh? I got you. Don't worry about it. It's so good to see you, my boy. Hey, good luck in uh, law school, huh? So, Mr. Kenneth, were we at uh, financing? Hey, did you change your mind? When I discover that you betray me, perhaps. I hear you took the bike for yourself, my employee of the month. Listen, man, me and Lamar was gonna get that back to you, dawg. Oh, I am sure. You will get this car off the daddy's boy, and then we talk. Insurance papers say they have a locked garage, so you'll need to gain access from inside the house. Man, it's never easy with you, is it, Simeon? Do not talk to me about easy, you thief. You have a massive gaper, bitch! You fucking homo, you're dead! Dead! He said I had a massive... Jimmy called me a bitch! He tried to... Him, though, sort of. 
Well, the other day, I walked in on him, and he was jerking off over pictures of my friends. Thank you, coach. You're a real pro, Mrs. DeSanta, a real pro. Well, you're a great student. Now just loosen up those hips. Okay, like this? Yeah, loosen them up. There you go. And follow through. Perfect. Oh, okay. I think I'm getting it. Hey, Simeon, I got the ride, man. I'm coming back. Yeah, if you actually bring the repossession to me this time, I can have it back out on the street before the day is done. That's a 9mm semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Huh? Now look around. You just keep driving where you're going. Hey, come on, man. This was a repo job. Guy was behind on his fucking note. Unlikely. Considering my son just got the car. And looking at the way you're going about this, my guess, you're working a credit fraud. A credit fraud? Be serious, dude. I just worked the fucking repo. I appreciate a kid who follows orders without taking responsibility. Yeah, maybe one day we'll have a beer, and I'll explain how the world really works. Who gives you the slip? A car dealer, dawg, by the name of Simeon Yateri. So this businessman, he look legit to you? Look, man, this is just between him and your fucking son. Don't worry. Me and Mr. Yatarian, we'll work this out. Hey, man, it's Jess up here. Okay, stop the car. Pull up. That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Whoa. Drive into it. Right through the fucking window. And fast. Or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. Man, you can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, fuck my life, man. Fuck. Come on, kid. Man, shit! No! Franklin! What the fuck are you doing? Mr. Samuel, it's not exactly how it looks. I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. You motherfucker! I won't be treated like this! You recognize this car? Huh? Does it look like it's worth five grand a month to you? You fucking racist! I'm Tyson. This thing's gonna need some serious bodywork before it's worth five grand a month. He agreed to financing. I have his signature. Yeah. Did he agree to have some punk break into my fucking house? I, I don't know. I... That kid might be a fucking idiot. But you are a fraudulent scumbag piece of shit. Oh. Don't make me have to come back here.
What do you want? Man, I'll come by for that drink you offered, that's all. I wasn't really serious about that. What? Uh, you're here, whatever. Sit. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. That was just a repossession. <laughs> okay. You call it whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. What can I do for you? Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. Look, I'm retired. Ain't you a bit young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years. And I got out alive. That makes me the right age. <clears throat> you look like a good kid. But if you want my advice, you give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt, rob, kill indiscriminately, and maybe, just maybe if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. It's bullshit. Go to college. Then you can rip people off and get paid for it. It's called capitalism. Hmm. So what I saw the other day was like when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone, right? What you saw the other day was a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well, and today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? No. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. Yeah, as much as I can. So that's why you're here in Vinewood then, right? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot who thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. Jesus, man. You a good time, you know that. I tell you what. <sighs> Least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. <sighs> it's not too far from here. Let's go. All right, man. I'm following you. We're taking my wife's car. Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink. Dad, with... shit! I'm in our boat going down the Western Highway. It's... it's been stolen. What? The yacht's been stolen? I, I was trying to sell it. I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it. They just want to take it. I'm hiding in the head. You're insane! All right, I'm coming. For my boat. All righty then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. I'll do what I can to help with that, man. Lesson number one. Don't ever have kids. Hey, man, look. If I had kids, I don't think no parenting issues would arise over who had boat privileges and who don't. Shit, motherfuckers would be lucky to sit in the bathtub. Shit, things that desperate, huh? Nah, but, you know, shit, I was making a point. Mythologizing self-deprecation. I know it well. Yeah, man, but shit, where the boat at? Little shit's been hijacked. They're somewhere on the Western Highway. Man, ain't you worried? About my boat? Yeah, I am. But you can always buy another boat. Yeah, tell my accountant that. Man, you can always get credit for one. But have you come repo it? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, homie. I ain't your homie. I'm someone you want to impress. Really? Man, I thought you was retired. Why the fuck do I want to impress some slipper-wearing motherfucker? Because I can still teach you a thing or two. Maybe help you open the door to all the joys that boat-related parenting issues entail. So I'm gonna help you get this boat back, right? That you are, my friend. Yo, boat's in a fucking hurry, man. Yeah, well, we'll catch him. We got a plan? Sure. Once I get us up close, you're the boarding party. More like the falling in traffic party. You'll be fine. If anything happens, I got a piece of the glove box. I'll cover you. Oh, yeah, man, fine. Just fucking fine. So you thought of everything, right? Well, you said you wanted to learn the old way of doing things. This is the old way. Hey, you want me to do this shit? You better get me close, man. You gotta take credit. Good. I can't do this shit from here. Get me close. Hold tight, pal. 
I'm not up here for fun, man. Get me near the damn Oh, fuck this. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, kid. Oh, fuck. Come on, kid. Come on, kid. Ah, sh shit. Get your shit. ass out of here. Get him off my ship! Not the engine! Shit! The fucking engine! Oh, easy with those pricks! If you hurt my boy, or my boat, don't you hurt my boy! Get off of him! Stop it! Hey, shoot this motherfucker! Okay! Now go find Jimmy! Ah, this is gonna kill me! Ah, too close! Dad? Wait, you're the guy from the dealership! Yeah, and it's a long story, bro! Jimmy! Ah. Kid, watch out for the boom! Fuck! Ah. Hold on! Dad! Help! 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 Yay! Yeah. Oh, Get out of here, man! Let him drop in the car! Ah. I'm gonna catch the sun! The fuck is wrong with you, kid? Dad! Don't dad me, you little shit! You better hope she's still seaworthy! Whoa! Crap! Shit! Shit! Ah, shit! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah! Crap! Fuck, kid! Hey! Get me off this damn thing! Hey, closer, man! Closer! Remind me not to come to you for parenting and advice! That everyone? Alright, time to get the boat back. Ooh, now that doesn't sound good. Damn, that's the engine, man. We ain't chasing shit in this thing. Come on, stay with me. Stay with me. Ah, my fucking boat! Hey, it's just a thing. At least you still got a son. Hey, it's a chop shop back there, dog. You drive us there, we can get the ride fixed. My boat. It's just a thing. My boat. Please stop doing that. Listen, I fucked up, okay? I'm not going to lie. That was a really bad judgment call. But shit, Dad, I nearly died. And all you give a shit about is this fucking boat. No, it's not that. It's all we do is scream at each other. No wonder I can't get a job. It's all your fucking fault. Or it's not, but it's partly your fault. I... I mean, I just want to impress you. By selling my boat to some gangbangers? I know it sounds dumb when you put it like that, but all you do is daydream or get angry. Look, I love you, Jimmy, but you're an asshole. And right now, with my boat disappearing over the horizon, that's all I can see. Franklin, would you do me a favor and give this kid a ride home after they fix this thing? I want to head but the road in peace. Oh, great. Leave me with the home invader. I'll get it done, dog. No problem. Dad! Enough! All right? Enough! Franklin, do me a favor. Call me a taxi, will you? Sure thing, man. Hey, I need a cab as soon as you can send one. Los Santos Customs, by the airport. All right, thanks. Thank you. Hey, so you, uh, do much yachting? Not anymore. No, I don't. Before, I mean, man. No, no not really. This little shit stays in his room all day, and I don't have any other people to go with, you know? I like looking at it. Looking? Yeah. You know, I come down to the marina, sit on the dock, pour myself a drink, and look at her. Jacqueline. Did it clear my head, you know? Let me dream. Jacqueline, huh? Well, maybe you need to do some other shit to fill your time. Dream other dreams, man. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Hey, this the place up here. I know this dude, man. His name How. He gonna look after me. All right, take what's in my pocket. A couple thousand bucks. That'll cover it, right? Yeah, it should be cool. Good. So you sure you're good? Yeah, I got this. All right. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna come up front. Get out and walk around. It's okay. I can just climb over. Look, man, I'm gonna get the ride fixed, man. And drop it back off at your house along with this dude. It's all good, though, man. You go and get your head right, all right? All right. Listen, thanks for today. I appreciate it. You stop back out to the house, we'll talk. Ugh, you see? Show, sure, man. Hey, sorry we didn't get your boat, man. Yeah.
Come on, man. Let's trick this whip, homie. I'm gonna take you home now. It's Franklin, right? Yeah, Franklin. All the credit for our guy. The home invader. You know what? Call me what you like, man. Yeah, I, I, no, I, I mean, sure. Jimmy, ain't he? Or James? Jimmy. Or just like, Jizzle? <laughs> no, nah, man, I'll just stick with Jimmy, homie. So, uh, what's the deal, man? Huh? You and my old man? I see you at the dealership. And someone steals my whip, and Pop is all like, he's been down there to talk to you guys. Your Pops did more than talk. What'd he do? Look, man, if he ain't tell you, I ain't gonna tell you. But I lost my fucking job, and I thought maybe he could help me find a new one. Dude, my dad is retired. Like, fully? Like, his only marketable skills are watching TV and daytime drinking. <sighs> man, look, I don't know, homie. He seems okay to me. Shit, he saved your ass. You saved my ass. Nah, nah, man. Well... Well, maybe we good together, you know? Like, maybe we can get shit done we couldn't do separate. If it keeps him out of the house, that's cool by me. Yeah, well, we'll see. Look, I'm sorry my dad lost to your job. It's hard out there. Tough. I mean, I'm employmentally challenged at the moment. Oh, you got fired, dude. Damn, that's rough. Not fired as such. I, I didn't get a job. I've been there, homie. You've been putting them resumes out there, but no one's hiring, huh? No, I, uh... I didn't get a job. I've never had a job. It feels like hard work. Life, the days just kind of disappear. Hey, you play right to slaughter? Nah, not since the first couple. Okay. Yo, so like, since we're both unemployed, like, we could run together, you know? Yeah, I think about it, homie. Or, or we could just like, shop it, you know? Play darts or get our drink on? Strip clubs. Come on, dude. I get real crazy. Yeah, I got your number shit. I need it, man. But, uh, hey, hey you know what? Man, go easy on your pops, dog. All right? All right, church. <laughs> exactly, man. My brother from another mother. I mean, I, I hope so, because my mom was kind of a skank back in the day. See ya. Yeah, whatever, homie. Peace. Hey, look, man. Look! You were like a son to me. Employee of the month. Does that mean nothing to you? Man, the dude had a gun in my head. No loyalty, no integrity. You should have taken the bullet. My business, my totally legitimate business. You are fucked, my boy. Fucked. Oh, fuck. This has got to stop happening to me. I'm paying that $250 to fuck my wife? In my old bed? Hey, you! Stop it! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked the prick in my bed. <laughs> you bullshitting me. It wasn't like that! You in? Fuck it, I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! You okay, homie? What happened? Guy bounced my wife is what happened. Which guy? The guy I'm paying to teach her tennis. The tennis coach? Oh, that's fucked up, man. You risk dudes, homie. You know, back in the hood, man, we gotta watch out for the mailman, dog. Yeah, I'm a cuckold, a snob, and a fucking cliche. Straight ahead, man! The fuck is he doing? Hey, get out the way! Motherfucker! Fuck, man, I think we lost his ass. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. Okay, this is the turn. Hey! Me and one of these fucking houses? Yeah, keep your eye out. That's his car, right there. Little prick's up there, look. Oh, shit, Coach doing all right for himself. Hey! Asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts! Michael, but You got the wrong idea, man! Banging married women's a hobby, not a fucking profession!
There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand! Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand! On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. Yeah. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Oh, hey. Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha ha! Let's see what happens! Dude, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh, shit! You see this shit, dog? Boom! Give it some! Man, homie ain't grubbing outside tonight, dog. Push the pedal, homie. Are you fucking serious, nigga? Yeah! Fuck, come on! Fuck, man, fuck! Oh, we did it! Fuck his ass! Yeah, fuck him. But was we really trying to pull that dude house off the fucking hill? Hey, we were trying to teach him a fucking lesson. Now that's an expensive bitch-ass lesson, man. Maybe he'll keep it on the court and out of my wife. Yeah, he not taking no housewives back to that motherfucker. Hey, it's a service to the fucking community. Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone. You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. Hey, man, that's some mean-looking motherfucking essays right behind you. Oh, that was quick. All right. Help me deal with this. I'll give it a go, man. Keep driving. Where are we, Where are we on this? Hey, the essays is booked. All right, we made it. Man, I need to think about this. Wow, shit. You did good. I mean, your aim's all over the place, but you were a help. Ah, uh, thanks. I guess. Hey, don't get defensive. Go to a shooting range, work on your aim. You'll do fine. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside? Show has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh, shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Do you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. Now, Franklin, maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now, maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo... It, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, got a question for you. Ah! Ah! 
did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I wasn't thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. <sighs> well, Natalia will <sighs> need a hotel while you finance the rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you I? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, though. Hello? Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Doc, hey. Michael, well, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. <sighs> I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean... I need something done, you need to know something, so... Why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? by selling us little bits of plastic, restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, 
fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something, just like the old days. <laughs> ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye now. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Hey. Hey. Uh, oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are uh, maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke breaks bad up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I... I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, you've been added on this PC. Ah, uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. Okay, we got some space. I'll try to boot up this antivirus. And now we scan. Scanning. Might be why I get all these migraines. Seriously, it, it might be why. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. You should be a meme, dude.
Making history, dude. Hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Goodbye. Hey, Michael, hold on, hold on. Don't! I don't ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. Hey, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame! Out. No! I'm watching Fame or Shame! Stop fucking tits! No! Give me up! The most racist guy in America. You all disgust me! America loves you. You are in the finals. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage! Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the data off it and reformat it into Life Invader friendly information. Hold on a Fuck second. You. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Oh! Security. Oh, oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... No, 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 no. Whoa! That was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know, the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. 
What you do's your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work. And I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. The hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. And they say it cannot be hit. Hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, yeah, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. We're going to Little Portola. Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business. FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. Well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Oh, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Town. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Uh, take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Here we are. You reading me? Mm-hmm. Okay, we need shots of the security features, the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. He could not pay me enough to touch it. Sir, thank you. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, on the wall by the side door. Glasses are live, shoot away. I don't do porn The shots come through. Camera, check. Alarm, check. Vents, check. Good work. Now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we need to know. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8, our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm going to take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Come back to me.
So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. Drive around the block and look for a way up to the roof. Look, there. Some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. So, you keep up with the old crew? Well, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while, needed to, uh, know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD, shootout, maybe just a car crash, right? I'm on the roof! I need to know where the air coming out of those vents in Vangelico originates. There should be a unit above the store. I don't care what it costs. I have to impress her. I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? You've got a good vantage. Now use it and get an image of the air system. That's it. Take the shot and we're finished. We've got our shot of the Vangelico unit. Looks good. Okay, that'll do. Now come back to me before someone spots you up there. Will do. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. So, what did you see? Uh, nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes to rub his nose in it. Uh, good. The alarm system's linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Mm, glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof. Means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open then? Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. I might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. Ha <laughs> ha. My uh, workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Uh, well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. Uh, all the crews, the rolls, prep work. Don't wanna leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options. I'm showing you all the angles. That's my area of professional expertise. But making decisions. That is your domain, my friend. Here. And there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? 
If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. It means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSP. PD tactical team, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the L.S. River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run in through the front door or try to play it smart? Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay, select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Eddie Cho, now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. Gus Moda. He's a pro. Not much else to say. Hacker. Back office, but this is the person who will determine how long you get inside. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Let's take a chance on him. If you're happy, I'll start making the arrangements. Great. Uh, I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Oh, yes. Huh? Good, good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa, what? My rep don't count for nothing no more? You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. Hey, what's up? Hey, man, it's me. Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down, so well, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful, and the risk will be high, but you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you could put together your own deals, your own jobs. So, there's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. But you know what? It's getting to be a bit much. I have no idea how you cope. Of course I cope. I'm a woman. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> but girl, I done done all that I can do. But you know how boys are. Wait a minute. Oh, girl. Whew. Hey, how much further? We ain't even gone five yards yet. Okay. I know. I'm just asking. This is spirit walking. Exercises body and soul. It's all the rage. We are women we and are we women. are free. Free and We are women. Here are free. We are women. Here are free. And we are women. We are Damn. F, is that your auntie? Yeah, thank God I missed her crazy ass. She's spirit walking this shit now, man. That's just her attempts to... Hey, hey, don't be talking shit about your auntie, man. She got... I mean, she cool as a motherfucker, man. Come on. Come where? We gotta go pick up some shit from around the corner, man. We can walk and talk at the same time, my nigga. Why the fuck we can't drive? Around the block with Chop? You need to walk with your fat ass. <sighs> yeah, okay, you tall, linky son of a bitch. Come on, homie, we ain't got all day. Let's go. Hey, For sure, you know, but what you got a Kidnapping, fool. That clown D. That OG fool from Ballers. Dog, I told you, no more game-banging retro vengeance bullshit. I'm trying to make some fucking paper. You gonna make some paper, low? And ain't nobody out here gang-banging. It just look like that. You gotta know the difference, man. Fuck, man, great. My aunt would be very happy, homie. She wants me dead anyway so she can get the fucking house. I will fuck you up. You driving. Get in the van, chop. 
Get in the van. Good dog. We going to Vinewood Boulevard. Hey, I like your dog, homie. Me and Chop got a lot in common. Your annoying ass. Man, I'm carrying both of y'all asses, homie. Look what I set up. Man, fuck this, man. You seen Tanisha? She's straight. It's me and you that ain't straight, though, homie. Dog, I know, homie. But look, I met this contact, this white dude. Real serious dude, man. This motherfucker know the streets, homie. I know he'll be a good hookup for us. We don't need no hookup, fool. I know these streets. You know these streets. Man, all you know is dime bag hustling, credit card stealing. Boosting gas tankers on me? Come on, man. Don't you trying to be some fucking commodity trader or something? Fool, that shit went up, man. Look, homie, I don't mind dying, you feel me? But I just want to die for something that matters, homie. That's what foreign gangsters should really be about. And I know this much, the motherfucking OGs ain't even giving a fuck about us, though. Man, fuck the OGs then. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no motherfucking pyramid scheme. No, wait, hold on. Listen to your boy one time. Listen to your boy. You want some paper, my nigga? This is what it's about. Check it out. I'm talking about 40. Thousand. No problem. Cash in hand. Two days time. No killing. Nothing. No, just starting another beef with the fucking ballers, nigga. That's class A felony bullshit. We gonna keep our disguise on. Ain't nobody gotta know it was us. <laughs> yeah, whatever, homie. We'll see about that. Oh, come on. Last night was... Hey, I know you dry that emperor. So why are we in this bucket? It's struggling on the incline. I don't care about no hills. I can get guns, dogs, snatched up fools, you name it in the back of this motherfucker. Glad to see you got your priorities straight. I've been told he up in the alley. Hey, what's going on, brother? Oh, hello, man. Hey, what's up, boo? Ain't you little Laida's cousin? Yeah. Damn, you short witty. I was just saying, I was trying to and holler at you. you ain't hollering at nothing over here. Why has it gotta be like that? I'm an OG. An OG? So what? So the fuck what, nigga? It's a million OGs Well, over shit, here. how about I put one of these little X pills up your ass crack? Next thing you know, you're gonna be begging for it, boo That's disgusting. What's happening now, D-Man? Ain't no fun if the gangsters can't have none. Man, fuck you, Mark. I ain't sharing no ass to CGS. Ain't nobody sharing nothing. Man, shut the hell up, fuck bitch. Fuck you, nigga. Man, fuck y'all. Hey, ain't there a law against you mark-ass gangsters insignia mask wearing motherfuckers? Oh, so what's up now, nigga? You snitching or something? Oh, nigga? oh shit! Bitch ass nigga! Fuck you, nigga! I'm out of here! Fuck y'all, hey, Get bitch. that nigga! Come on, let's go! In the van, we gotta go! He on a bike, man! We ain't gonna catch him! Just drive, fool! Hold on, Chop! That's 40 G's getting away right there! You seen that bitch back there? She a dime. I'm all over that. And she probably the same. Like I said, they flock. Flock your mind on this shit right here for a minute. You worse than chop. Come on, homie. Concentrate on the road. Ain't no stopping us on this hill. Fuck it. Go back to chambers. This nigga's a punk, homie. And he making you look like one, too. I don't know why you think that's gonna motivate me, nigga, because it don't. Man, look at this shit, dawg. We chasing another motherfucker on a motorcycle. If we snatching this dude, we snatching his ass right. Remember the homies around the block? Man, the homies is lame. Yeah, so we not. Cops on their cell phones as soon as they made the ransom call. Triangulated the signal. Ghetto birds all over the place. Surveillance, my nigga. Damn, you okay, Chop? Oh, shit. Damn. He got fucked up! Man, take time. Go get that fool! Nigga, you just sitting your ass still with your feet kicked up. Come on, Chop. Come on. Go bite his ass. Get that motherfucker, Chop. Get him! What the fuck? I thought you was an original gangster. You just a motherfucking chump. At least I'm getting a workout. Uh! Take him down, homie. Oh, fuck. Come on, boy. Find that fool. Hey, 
Hey, Chop, what you smell? That don't look like no ballers OG to me. Come on, Chop. Get off there, man. We got shit to do. This ain't time for humping, Chop. Come on, man. Come on, you horny little motherfucker. You need boot camp or some shit. Get back on that fat motherfucker, Chop. You got a whiff of him, Chop? You smell that motherfucker, boy? Lay down, bitch. You scared of dogs, nigga? Oh, shit! Fuck you and your stupid dog! <clears throat> Don't hump him! Bite his ass, Chop! Get it! Oh, fuck you, you son of a bitch! That bitch just fucking bit me, man! Shut the fuck up! Hey, man, get over here! Oh, shit! What the fuck, man? I ain't got no beef with the CGF! Cause maybe we doing our own thing! What the fuck, what the man? What the fuck in the fan, fuck? Shit! Hey, Lamar Davis, is that you, nigga? Nigga, shut the fuck up! Just get in! Yeah, that's you, nigga! Fucking oh, idiot! Shit. I said I had no beef, man. Shut up. Hey, man, what the Watch fuck? You, Get this fucking dog Come away from me. Come on. Fuck. Hey, if you don't train Chop, he gonna be a lost cause like you, dog. We gonna stash this dude in my spot. We going back to your crib? I've been there when you was in diapers. Shut up, man. You ain't recognize me. I knew it was you before you took that flag off. You always been dumb, Lamar. Really? Well, I guess that means we're gonna have to shoot your ass when we pick up our 40 stacks. You ain't gonna pick up shit. Fans gonna be on you before you can even move, nigga. Be quiet. I gotta make a call. We got your boy. You calling him on the cell phone, you dumb motherfucker? They gonna trace this shit in a sec. We want 40,000. Just pay me or pay the funeral director, motherfucker. What the fuck you done done? You just gave them our location. Now we gotta let this motherfucker out of here. Hey, Get the fuck out of here. And nigga, give me that damn phone. What the fuck? Fuck y'all! I'll be seeing y'all soon! The only reason you been seeing shit cause we went easy on your ass. Remember that, dawg? Dumb bitches! This some bullshit. Take me down the cut. Man, what the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? I was getting us paid. What the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? That was a good phone. A good phone? The cops was all over, nigga. I could have swallowed my card, try to triangulate that. It's too late. Shit's done. Least I saved you the indignity of pulling apart your shit. Nigga, I ain't afraid to get my hands dirty, old precious motherfucker. This is what I mean, homie. We need to get serious. Get paid. This shit ain't working. All right, motherfucker. You the motherfucker. You better watch out for them ballers. They gonna be on you now. The cops gonna be on your ass too. Yeah, I ain't worried about it. I'm a motherfucking gangster. You know how I do. I can take care of my sizzle. No, the fuck you kids ain't. I don't want to know. Franklin! What the fuck? I mean, what the hell going on here? Wait a minute. Franklin, what are you doing here? I live here. This half my house, too. So you say? Anyway, Magenta is reinvigorating my femininity. So make yourself scarce, boy. Go. Go. With pleasure. Go. Goodness. And stay out of trouble! Yeah, yeah. I bet you ain't no more of a man than me. I hear that. Gangsta shit, nigga! Look who's bizarre. What's, What's up, fool? With it, man? Oh, <laughs> no, no. Show some respect here, nigga. That man, he couldn't hold down his back. Come on now. Damn, man. I gotta spend my day with another middle-aged fool trying to recapture his youth. What this fool just say? I missed you, dawg. Oh, oh. You missed me, huh? Nah, no, I ain't missed you. Your ass could've stayed gone for good. So I fucked your girl, mm -hmm. mugged your moms, mm. and better yet, I ain't thought about your ass in years. Ha, ha. You got jokes now, huh? Hey, but I see you doing well for yourself. Check that on out. Shit, I'm doing just fine. That's what I hear. 
but I know some sweet boys up in the pen that got bigger balls than you. Oh, you been doing your time looking at sweet boy balls? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's good to have confirmation. This funny fuck. Why you keep hanging around this clown, L? Shake this fool, we man. We from the same set, Stretch. Why, why y'all niggas can't get along? Y'all been doing this shit for years, man. You know what, dawg? It's good you back home. Glad you here. Missed you, boy. Damn, you definitely got hit up inside. Hit up? Hey, hey. Yo, motherfucker, I know little niggas like you been turned out on the daily. Talking about being hit up, nigga, I swear, man. You ain't got no motherfucking respect. Motherfucker, I got respect for reality. Reality? All right. All right, you keep thinking that. Just keep thinking that, nigga. Shit, you gonna get yours. Fuck you. Uh, I swear, man. Stress come whoa, on, whoa, man. Whoa, cool out, fuck, chill, man? man. This motherfucker get on my goddamn nerves. The nigga get on my nerves, too, man. Part of the nigga charm, man. F, come on, man. Let's just bust a move, man. You gonna drive or what, Bill? Drive where? Pick up this heat, nigga. Why? Business, nigga. Real business. Come on, girl. Y'all niggas act like girls. Shit. Not me. Shit. Let's go to the gun store. Shit, homie. You gonna drop all that bread on that gear. You might as well get a haircut, too. Fucking crazy-haired microphone, motherfucker. I got a microphone I can shove right in your prison pocket. Nigga, you walk like you keister and shit anyway. You know, when I went away, you punks was little homies, and I was a big homie. Now I'm out, and you little homies is big homies. But you still gotta respect. Man, what the fuck this nigga talking about? We all big homies, but he bigger, right? Exactly. Man, that's some fucking pyramid scheme bullshit. Pyramids is good, man. Illuminati Pharaoh shit. As soon as we get this shit, as soon as we get paid, homie. As soon as we get incarcerated, more than likely. Ammunition. Armorer to the stars. Hey, what's up, man? Firing range is in the back, and all our weapons are customizable. Oh, hell yeah! You can trick your blam blam out up in here. Quit all that. Just straight up artillery, man, all right? Don't y'all shut the fuck up. I got this, you clowns. All right, homie, get your shotgun with the flashlight modification. Why the fuck am I the only one buying this? Because we got sheets, homie. Now shut the fuck up and come on. <clears throat> now just let me reinstate, man, that the purchases made by this man ain't got nothing to do with the two gentlemen of fella nature. That's right. Yeah. Now let's go bust on some niggas. Man, we got some recycling to do. Come on, man. Send her off friends in La Puerta. You got some cans or some shit I don't know about? Nah, homie. We got ourselves a drug deal. Why do I get the feeling it's gonna be one of them deals gone wrong type situations? Now, see, that's that negative attitude Lamar was telling me about, nigga. You ain't getting nowhere thinking like that. The power of positive bullshit. You ought to be clenching your motherfucking vagina muscles with my aunt, nigga. After his bid, it probably needs tightening up. This ain't new age shit. It's fact. You get what you get, fool. You been getting dick, but you ain't giving it, huh? Some Mark talk like that to an OG? <laughs> CGF has changed, man. No wonder the hood is so lame right now. Speaking of change... Lamar's been meaning to talk to you, homie. Nah, nah, not now, homie. What's happening? It's nothing, my nigga, nothing, you know. Just some ideas, that's all. Man, ideas ain't your strong suit, so put it on me. It's nothing real, homie. When it's something real, we'll talk. Bullshit, man. It's realer than this crap. All right, homie, we meeting in here. Man, how'd you find this place? The homie set it up. It's the kind of spot where we ain't gonna be disturbed. That's what the fuck worries me. I'm more of a hide in the plain sight type of nigga. No, you more of a punk bitch type nigga. <laughs> What's what up, up fool? fool? What up, we it? got that shit, nigga, with a paper hat. Nigga, I'm talking about Buku Bill. More Davis. <laughs> What's up, boy? 
Everything cool? Yeah. Come on, man. What the fuck, man? You was just kidnapping this nigga. Oh, oh come, come on, on dog. Now, don't real F recognize real. D, my nigga, just got out crossing lines, did some time for some of your folks. Hey, look, look, look. This ain't about you, man. What? You know these niggas dumb. Yo, what the fuck up? this trick talking about, man? Yeah, What's yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody see, see, see on us? They putting a nigga on TV, man, about some gang intervention shit. Hey, this ain't the police, dawg. This some ballers bullshit. Nigga, that's fuck, some man. bullshit. Fuck, fuck you. What's up with hey, we've been set up, nigga. This shit fuck, fuck, fuck you, fuck nigga. Snake motherfucking shit. Oh, bitch ass ballers. Come on, through here. Snitch ass fool thought we was marked. Now he ain't thinking shit. The place on fire! Shit's burning! We gotta go, man! Move it! What kind of dumb motherfucker would trust that motherfucker? It look good on paper, though, I'm gonna say. I'm right behind you. Fuck! Cops outside! I ain't going back! There's the fire door! This the way out! Hey, one time! We ain't going nowhere with that chopper on us! Take it out! Get over this and we good, homie. We gotta cool this shit off. Tear it off, homie. Move. Man, you keep them rollers off of us. That's it. That's it. We lost him. Now take us somewhere where we can get it in, homie. I'm driving back to my crib, man, all right? Hey, what the hell you walked me into back there? Shit, man, you the one popped his ass. I did the necessary. Yeah, thank you for that, dawg. This all on you, LD, lanky dumbass. Me? Hey, I ain't know the fools was gonna roll on us. If you started something with the ballers, shit, I don't care if you CGF for life, man. You done. Done, you dig? Actually, we ain't CGL for life, cause all that means is we giving you money for nothing. We got our own shit now, homie. Foreign gangsters. Oh no, nah, no, nah. he don't mean that, low. F just talking outside his neck. I'ma reach cross lines, all right? Conversate with the purple homies. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, man. Smart shit. But if I gotta hang you assholes out for this, the gang comes first. Oh, it ain't gonna come to that, homie. You all diplomatic as shit. Yeah, he a real fucking diplomat, ain't he? This that peace-talking motherfucker we should have sent to the Middle East. Fuck. No wonder I want to get out of here. No one's stopping you, little homie. What's good? Here we are, man. You gonna hang with your auntie while the men break it off. Shut the fuck up. Hell no, nah, nigga. You sounding more and more like a snee eye itch every day. Hell no, nah, yeah. nigga. I sound like somebody trying to make some paper and not get killed. He's a hook ass nigga, I told nigga, you. Nigga, go toss a salad, stretch mark ass bitch. Fucking buster. <sighs> I used to love you, Tony. Now damn you, Paul. Now damn you, Paul. Stop with the emotions. You don't love me. You love what I represent. You love being the... Do you even have a penis? Or are you one of those hermaphrodites born without genitals? Tricks up her sleeves. I'm not even saying. Just a nightclub singer with a broken heart. I still love you, Tony. You're in over your head and you're up there. Damn. Jimmy! God damn it. The fuck you doing? Nothing. Really? Cause I keep hearing a math for that. This, a cop, that. Go away. What? You know, go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you. What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want, to be hit by your son? Yeah! No! I just want you to do something! Besides, sit there, eating! Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV! Nothing at all!
I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Yeah, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah, uh, bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. We'll take a bike ride along Vespucci Beach, and I'll show you just what you want to see. This day was going so well until you showed up, you know that? Ugh! Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. If I'm hanging with you, I'm listening to my music. Oh, hell yeah. Jimmy. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-faced? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me, but I didn't expect or want them to get killed! You think I'm gonna let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy! A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar... I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway... I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last ten years, but that was an extreme fucking situation, and I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, I had to. To protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. I'm working with Clayton, a rapper in town who wants to get into movies. Hey, you! Two bikes. Take your pick. That's fine, honey. Anyway, gotta go. Yo, thanks. If I make it to the end of the pier first, you're gonna buy me a big-ass new flat screen. Into the pier? All right. But if I beat you, you're gonna behave like a human being. Fucking asshole! Ah. Looks like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean... Why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat. The one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a dancer. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, Jake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Plus, we're taking you out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. 
They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her bad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, hey, Daddy. cool, man. Hey, dude. Dude. What are you doing? Hey! Oh, hey. Ah, fuck, man! Come. I like him! What's problem? You're such a jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass, these guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I. Talk to the scene of my fucking boat! Oh, motherfuckers! Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! Shit! They're coming after us! Go into that outlet! If you say so, Trace. Oh, God! Look! They're shooting at us! We'll lose them if we keep going this way. Who the fuck are these people? Oh, you know, TV people, celebs, serious drug dealers. Well, since when did TV people and drug dealers start hanging out? Come on, Dad, it's Los Santos. Go, go, keep going. Hey, turd buckets, if you kill us, you'll be jailed, and the Sea Shark will be impounded. My dad's the one you want to kill. He's on the front of this thing. Oh my god, 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 they're gone. Oh my god. Oh, this is the worst. You see? They're gone. It's okay. I'll take you back to your brother. Okay? No, it's not okay. Not at all. Hey, we're alive, aren't we? Those psychos didn't kill you. Psychos? Only you could get me chased out of a party with effing guns. Yeah, huh? Well, maybe you're in the wrong fucking parties. You! You fucking asshole! Listen, he, he's the fucking asshole, okay? He smashed my TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was going to come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like you get sometimes, and he just went. I'm getting a cab. Coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. Yo! Get that out of here. Private property. Just get it off our property. Remember, for every house you spray, you got it. All right, Lester, we got a pest control van. Good. I've got a line on the knockout gas. It's made in some lab on the coast, but two shipments a day come through the city from the northeast, taking it to the airport. All right. I'll see if I can jump one. Hey, take it easy! Uh. I just want the gas! Hey, Lest. I got the good night gas. That's everything we need. I'll put out word that the score is ready to go. Now, we all know why we're here. We've got a store to take. The plan is simple. Elegant. Listen to Lester. Pay attention to the information he gives you, and we'll all make a buck. If things go bad. You know the drill. This wasn't organized. We don't know each other. We got caught up in a robbery and acted in self-defense. But it's not going to be an issue because everything's going to go just fine. The, um, the uh, alarm system is easy. Now, if I didn't need to be running things, I could have it offline myself. No problem, but uh, you should be able to get us a pretty decent window. How decent depends on the job you do. Now, uh, once it's down, you signal Michael. 
he makes the call. Things look good. We should be able to drop a present right through the air vent on the roof. Everybody goes to sleep. No problem. We take our time. If we run into trouble, we move quickly and with force. Any questions? No? Let's go. Frank, you're with me. Ricky, I hope you can manage the truck with the bikes. Gus, Eddie, you're in the van, all right? See you on Little Portolo, people. Initials only from here on out. Driver drives. Get in. F, come on, get in. All right, you got it down? I got it. Because you use too much gas on these guys, you'll kill them. Well, shit, don't blame me the way these canisters is mixed. Just be careful. <laughs> yeah, okay. Listen, I stuck my neck out for you here. Man, you don't need to tell me that shit again. I got faith in you, F. But you're unproven. Unproven? For real? So I didn't prove myself when I jumped off the back of that yacht on the highway, huh? Yeah, but these guys don't know you. They see some gangbanger with a happy trigger finger. They got money and their freedom on the line. I ain't gonna fuck this up, man. Good. I got enough shit to worry about. The crew? Man, they look like serious people, homie. They are, for the most part. Most part? I made a savings on the hacker. But that shouldn't matter if I do my job on the shop floor. But the rest of them are serious, right? The gunman and the driver. Yeah, they're serious. They're taking a serious cut. They better be fucking worth it. Alright, this is it up there. There's a way through the site, up to the roof. Man, we went over this. I'm cool. All right, when the gas is in the ventilation system, give us the word. For sure, man. I got it. Almost there. We're in position, waiting on your signal. Just gotta get where I can throw this. I got an angle. That was it. They going out. Do you love her? Well, I, I love her a lot. I just, I wasn't thinking it was... Well, think about it like this. I mean, I always say that... I told them to fix that goddamn AC! Oh. Hmm. What's going on? Let's go. Go, 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 go! Give me the loop, bro. I wouldn't stay in there too long, okay? This alarm is gonna go at some point. You gotta be kidding me! Why did I employ a hacker who can't run antivirus software? Shit, um... Okay, the alarm hasn't gone off yet. We ain't hit the target yet! Keep going! I think you got maybe 30 seconds left. How you doing over there? We're on the clock! Here we go! Quick hands, man! That's why you get your cut! Let's go! Let's go! This better not be paced! Ten, um, nine, um, eight, six, three, two, one, one, one! They're out of stone, so let's hit the road! So for the last time, move it! Make it the fuck out my face! Oh. You forget a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. I'll see you at the river. Go. Go, go, go! Stay on me! The cross here! Let's go! To your right and drop down off the bridge on the Del Piero freeway. Okay! Go! Now we duck to the right into these tunnels. Headlights on now! I see light! We're out! Uh, bros? Just a moment. Don't worry, I got gotcha. you. Shit, man, we screwed. Hang in there, boys. 
I got bull bars on the truck. I'll make short work of these cops. No more cherry tops, bro. We are clear. All right, we're clear of the cops for right now. We'll stop at the end of the river, and we'll get the bikes into the truck. Waiting on you, kid. Lester's waiting for us at the lockup. Oh, fuck, man. I thought I was gonna be stuck to that bike. Yeah, I thought you were gonna be stuck under a cop car. There gotta be more dudes waiting around that way. We did not just get away with that shit, did we? You know what? I think we did. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, we did it, baby. We did it. Yeah. All in a day's work, homies. Woo! I might just be able to send my kids to college. When L.I. fired me, they said I was dangerous. <laughs> they was right, yo. All right, people. We need to split up. They're gonna be looking for a crew. I'll wire your cuts when the rocks have been sold. That shit was crazy, dog. So what now? We get out of here. Keep our heads down. Hey, you did good, kid. What'd I tell you, Lester, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, look, everybody take off. Hey, Franklin. Listen, Lester and I got some things we gotta clean up. I want you to stop by the house a little later on. We'll celebrate, all right? All right. Okay. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. We're back in action. I don't care if you got money now. Don't you get it? That ain't what I was looking for. Not then, not now, not ever. I know it ain't important. Just let me take you somewhere nice, all right? Where are you? Uh, are you in a strip club? Grow up. Stop looking for the easy way. Tanisha, I gotta go, all right? Uh, I, I'm gonna change, I promise. You won't even recognize me. What's up, homie? Hey, look. Chop got to stay around your crib for a while, homie. That's cool? Yeah, man, it's cool. Shit's the best place for him anyway. Ha! <laughs> like it ain't nobody out there gunning for your black ass. Bullshit, nigga. Just take care of it, man, all right? All right, I got you, dog. Hey, there you are. What's cracking? So, we all good? Hell yeah, we all good. We did. Yeah, you fucking ain't right, we did. So, here's the shot. Lester's offloading the gems. He knows a guy. He has 50 cents on the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, we might actually have a little spending money left after we pay off that psychotic Mexican motherfucker. Whew. Cheers. So that's that, right? I hope so. The whole job. Everything about it. Anyone who knows your file, what is wrong with you? Davy, Long time no see. And what about Trevor? If that fruitcake realizes, no, no, finds out you're alive, you are D-O-N-E fucked. Hey, don't worry about Trevor. Trevor's dead. It's gotta be. Besides, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Whatever the hell it is you're talking about. <laughs> really? Criminals are believed to escape with millions of dollars worth of gems, oh. precious stones, and engagement hey. rings. Albert's story had a lucky escape when the thieves ran straight into it. Yeah, I was just doing my job, and I said to this guy, Hey, you gotta move these bikes. I don't know anything about that. And this other guy runs out of the shop, pushes me over, and says something like, You forget thousands of things every day. You'll make sure this is one of them. 
That was pretty scary. Back to you in the studio. You want to get lit now, sugar? Tre Trevor, baby, you want to you want to smoke up now? Don't do it, Johnny. Don't do it. Trevor, you been with my girl again? I'm speaking with you, asshole. Don't do it, Johnny. I told him, Trevor. I told him. We all get high. We all get high. But that don't Leave make it, it right. Johnny. Leave it. The crystal has got us, babe, but don't make it right. Don't make nothing right. Not what you done with me. I'm telling Johnny, leave it. I ain't leaving nothing. Trevor, I'm talking to you, motherfucker. Are you? What are you saying? Fucking my girl, man. It's wrong. Well, I gotta fuck someone. You want me to fuck you instead? Is that the problem here? Take off your pants, cowboy. All right, let's let's fuck. You think this is funny? Get them off! I told him to leave it, Trevor. I told him. Leave it. Leave it. Shut up, Ron. I'm about to fuck me a meth head, ain't I, cowboy? Get my boy sucked from his toothless gums, hmm? Fuck you, Trevor. Oh. I still love her. All right, cowboy. Hey, I know. Hey, come on. Shh. I don't mean nothing by it, man. So I just... I know. I messed up. I know, cowboy. It's okay, man. Give me a hug, yeah. Fucking shit! Cut! 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 Who the fuck are you speaking to? Who? Who? I'm talking to you, huh? You fuck! Johnny! Huh? Next time, don't get in my fucking face! I just saw a fucking ghost and I gotta hear your crap! Get up! Get up! Fuck you then! Johnny! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Now we gotta speak to Johnny's recently bereaved brothers. ghost I saw. His name is Michael Townley. Sounds like he's living in Los Santos. Find him. Really? Uh, my cousin's there, but I don't... Find him, Wade! Does this mean I don't have to come see the bikers? We're in a hurry, but not that much of a hurry. But if we bury Johnny in the desert, and then quiet down that bitch Ashley he was in, then they don't need to find out about it. You think it's clever to disrespect women? Disrespect? What? I, I wasn't disrespecting. I was just saying we should kill her. You called her a bitch. Ain't you got a mother? Everyone got mothers, at least one. We're going up to that farm on the right? That's where they're meant to be. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, you seen Ashley Johnny's looking for? Well, you know, as a matter of fact, I just did just 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I saw her on the end of this penis here. Uh, Johnny ain't gonna be cool if you messing with her again. Oh, really? Well, you don't think so, huh? Well, why don't we just ask him then, huh? Hey, hey, cowboy, you mind that I fucked your old lady? Sorry, what was that? Well, no, 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 you don't mind? Oh, because you're a dead man? And the only sentient part of you left is this little bit of brain and the gristle on the end of my boot? Well, thank you very much, cowboy. Bullshit! Oh, I like it, denial. That is first part of the grieving process, brothers. Now let's all hold hands, huh? Oh, looks like you got something you want to say, huh? You got something you need to say? This better be bullshit. Oh, where are you guys going, huh? Let's go, ladies. If that van takes us back to the camp, this area ain't gonna have a biker problem much longer. We can't fuck with the van, but we can drop those bikers. Did you see the look on their faces? We scared them, didn't we? Yeah, thank fuck they didn't make you for the harmless idiots you are. 
You need some seat belts back here, or straps, or something. I only keep things in the back I don't mind losing. Oh. You gotta slow it up, man. That's a sharp left. All righty, Root. Now we just sit on this guy till he gets to them. Uh, I can't see us taking out all the bikers this go, boss. I mean, there'll be some by that airstrip, and some over, you know, by that... If not today, their time will soon be upon them. Do we know where you're going yet? I got a feeling, yeah, but we gotta make sure. Once you know, you could drop me and Wade at the trailer. Maybe bring Chef to finish them. We do this now, Ron, all of us. I gotta take third bike of blood. Oh, look, look, they're pulling up. You did it, Trevor. They're stopping. Sit back and watch the show, you useless pricks. No one's gone back. You got a highly explosive cookhouse in that trailer, huh? On our bike! Are we? Cooking crystal is just an accident waiting to happen. You don't want to know me when I'm irritated! I warned Johnny, and I'll warn you the same! What are you still doing here? You said... I said go find a fucking ghost in Los Santos, all right? You looking for motivation? And get me some sticky bombs! We're dropping in on Ortega. He has Tekas? That makes me nervous. Ah, don't be nervous, nervous, Ron. He'll be fine with the takeover. Takeover? Trevor! We don't need to. Now the bikers are gone. It's just us, the Aztecas, and the O'Neills. The market's big enough. This Chinese contact's gonna buy crystal fast as we can cook it. You just gotta meet him at the inn, and... Yeah, 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 fine, okay, we're, we're nearly there. Soggy friend, you are out of business. The lost MC are out of business. The guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise, or they ain't going. Saying something don't make it true. No! This is happening. They're gonna green light you after this. I don't like the way he's looking at me. You sure mean business, T. We can go now, right? I don't know what these naysayers are talking about. Look at me. I'm cranked on speed most of the time, but I'm productivity personified. You sure achieved a lot today. It was time to put my affairs in order. You going somewhere? Soon as I find that specter on the TV, Michael Townley. He's your buddy you said got shot, right? You guys used to run together. Yeah, that's him. My best pal. I thought he was dead. You're catching on fast. Yeah, the fucking ghost I've been talking about. He's alive? He's walking, and he's talking. He's sticking up joints, so I guess, yeah, that makes him alive, don't it? And how you know it's him? It's his M.O., and it's the same corny shit he was spewing ten years back. This could be a trap, Trevor. What if someone wants you to think he's alive? I was fooled when I thought he was dead. 
I ain't fooled now. Michael Townley lives and breathes. He's in Los Santos, and he's got some explaining to do. They could be trying to draw you out into the open. That's a conspiracy theory too far, even for you, Ronald. Really? Well, anyway, it seems like a shame for you to be going just as TP Industries is finding its feet. I'll do what I can to put the business on its path before I depart. The company needs you, boss. You'll do fine in my absence. I don't know what this Michael Townley's got that you can't find in the Alamo Sea. What he's got is answers. Get out of the car, Ron. I need time to think. Run! Speak! You know I don't like choosing these things. They're listening. Then make it quick. That business thing's been set up. The Chinese guy, Mr. Chang, is at the inn. You said that on the phone? What the fuck is wrong with you, damn it, Ron? Now I'm gonna have to discipline you and you know how I feel about that. You're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. He's one. Ban him. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? Anyway, I Whoa. saved your husband. Now get me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay, but any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Mr. Phillips. Ah, here he is. Yes, Mr. Chang, pleasure to meet oh, you. No, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang now. You all speak Spanish, speak it to each other! Mr. Tao Chong is uh, pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh yeah, he seems it. I'm out. No, don't go. Please, I beg you. If you go, his father killed me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't. But we hear that Trevor Phillips Corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out, we partner, make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing! Well, let me show you the operation. This is us. Chef, we're just coming down to see the kitchen. You can't get here quick enough. The Aztecas are coming. They think you took out Ortega. They ain't mistaken. Well, get down here and take them out, too. You sure your boss don't want this crank for his own personal consumption? No, no. Mr. Cheng Sr. is very specific. He wants a good, reliable source of methamphetamine. We will buy from you here and distribute using established networks. I'm worried that might dilute what our operation's all about. We're part of the slow meth movement, bio-regional, locavores only. Mr. Chang Sr. has much money. I wouldn't be the first man to throw morals out the window for a paycheck. It's awesome, huh? Shit, Trevor. You ain't got long. Whoa, 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 whoa. Manor chef. These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. Chang and his humble servant. Hey, no uh, <laughs> Nice to meet you. Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right. Gentlemen, please, come check out the storage facilities. Oh. Nice, right? Oh, there you go. <laughs>
Ample room inside. Mr. Chen, please, sir, if you will. Let me out! The tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Yes, chef. Help me! If I knew we were having visitors, what is that, a little spring clean? Ortega has always been cool with us before. This ain't done until they're all gone! This is a place of business! Come over here, man! I got a better weapon for you! Grenade launcher! There's another car over there! Business partners out of the ice chest. Hey, all right, time to recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! I think we have seen quite enough. Uh, 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 I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! What's going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. Look at this. This. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic midlife crisis, hog-riding, shaven-headed, fruity leather, chap-wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chap-wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, <laughs> Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45. Find them. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. all right? That's better. Run along. Uh, <laughs> now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. I gotta swing by ammunition. Go to Sandy Shores Airfield, check it out. Come in! Come in! I'll come in your ear when I get a hold of you. I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high-power scope. They say they support local business. Well, we're about to find out if that's true. Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries. Ammunition. That's the rifle I need. That's the chestnut. Now I need a scope and a sub. Run! Run, I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two 
planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are. I'm waiting at the water tower, boss. Where are you, man? I'm waiting at the water tower. I'm up here. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Up here! We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. The time is right. Go on, my son. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Here, by the road. You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me. That's me. Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? They got a guard at the bottom of those steps! Under the control tower! Good kill, Trevor! Hurry it up, Ronnie! Shit! I hear an engine! They're gonna see that guy you shot! Maybe if you shoot those lights on the tower, it won't be so obvious. There's one, and there's the other. Lights off! Good. Now don't smoke the guy in the van until he stops and gets out. Hellfire. fire. We gotta see what he's up to. I think he's just calling the dead guy. You can erase him now. He's out of the van now. Do him! It's the man? You should have seen the look on his face. There's a guy coming out of the control tower. Take him out. Shit! He's got a gun! And they all came tumbling down. Oh no! Bottom of the tower. Another guy's on his way. He's down there, amongst the bodies. Clean shot, Trev. Another guy's coming out of the tower. Must be looking for the one you shot. He's seen the body! Take him out before he raises the alarm! So long, sailor. Get your sights back on me, Trev. I'm scared. You got them sights on me? You're in my crosshairs again. There's no one left to kill, so get over to that gas tank and plant the bomb. I'm on it, but there's a guy coming out of that building, I think. I can hear him. Someone's coming out the far door, man! There's a second guy, coming out of the building! Good kill, Trevor! I'm fixing it! Don't let him sneak up on me, okay? And, whatever you do, don't hit the tank! Please, man! I think someone's coming! Shit! He knows I'm here! This is it! He caught me! A bolt from the blue! Can you hear that? Chopper! Incoming! Always hated that chopper! Just fucking drive! You're bikers! It's looking for us, T! We ain't gonna get them guns when they got tactical superiority! If I hit the chopper, everyone's gonna know we're here! Try and hit the pilot when he's settled! They might think he crashed! Might they? They might! Another. 
I hope there's enough of these guns to go around. down the end of the runway. Come on, let's go, let's go! Vamos, go! Let's see what those explosives can do. This kind of hardware is gonna go. And they are? Up north to our Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or our other neighbors, those in the south, our Mexican brethren. I assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. You wouldn't really do that to me, would you? Beat me and you'll see. Uh, I ain't a trained Air Force pilot like you. I can just about get where I'm going, but I don't got much choice over whether it's fast or slow. Then get better at it, or fly through a barn. Would a barn slow me down? Yeah, it might do. Or it might kill you instead. I'm just gonna fly normal, and I'll rely on you getting there quicker. You're braver than I thought. Stay low over those wetlands, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this. But does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. 
I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might. Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash, hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la! Clayton! Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you, and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? I'm not at liberty to say... Oh, no, 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 you're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. Who? Fucking... Who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's gonna have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them! <laughs> Trevor Phillips, Elwood O'Neill, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Trevor, it's business! That wide-eyed idiot was mine! It's business, fella! You wanna discuss it? We're at the farm! Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. Start writing those names on tombstones, cause I'm on the way to your lab and we're gonna see how much of a family meth business you got when I'm done! Mm. They're dead, all of them, inbred hillbilly twats. I just spoke to that maniac, Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse.
that psycho, Trevor! Tear! Trevor's here to kill ya! Take over time! Hey, back to your fucking trailer! Crap! He's heading for the basement! Don't let him down here! Shit! He's in the lab! Don't come any closer, all right? You win! You can have the contract! We ain't got the ambition, man! We went wrong, okay? Made a bad call! This is just like a subsistence farm. At least it should be. We'll correct that. Come on, man. Well, look at this. Mmm, you smell that? Smell those fumes. Yeah, you've only yourselves to blame. Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor! I've been trying! Come on over here, alright? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying! I know, I know. I thought you said you wasn't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley! There's two... Michael Townley living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut up asked... before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I looked through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go. Wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? So we're headed to Los Santos, man? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bunked in with his girlfriend in some place called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, that might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause, you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. 
For fuck's sakes! Another chapter of the lost have descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn, and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what can you want? Well, can't come on their way to begin with? Grief has a beautiful way of bringing folk together, Wade. Just you wait. And besides, I brought them gifts. Come good guys? Like flowers or a cake? Shut up. The Lost Camp. Ooh, I got some fond memories of this place. Government, they pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired ass movie quotes with my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family? In a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, T. Trevor! Lube up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill! Uh, please! Don't turn me into anything! I just wanna be away. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade! Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all! Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tr Tria Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have. But he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't. Because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. What could he do? I'll tell you in a second, okay? Just let me concentrate on the road. But Trevor! Hey! Aww. Right there. Los Santos. The end of the fucking earth. Oh! Get, get, get! Get, get, get! 
So, this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert. It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life, huh? It's been nearly ten years, which you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck? Here, what are you doing? Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd's over in Vespucci Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a had a stick accident like, like I had one. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable, grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him to a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes, He'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping maybe a little on the side without call work, but you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls and the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad and he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit and Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Did all the name checks change or am I missing something? Shut up. And then the fat, ugly troll came back from the dead. And the news picked it up. Our hero decided to go out looking for him. I'm sort of following it, I think. But what happens in the end? That, Wade, we do not know. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd Caps. I seen it on iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. This is the place, I think it is at least. Floyd! Floyd! Come up here, Trevor! Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck! Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink! Oh, you, Wade! <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called in Evelyn's bed. A guy was never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, 
I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go too. All right. Okay. okay. Fuck. There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Mm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, huh? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. Oh, that's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. <sighs> Good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, um, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for fame or shame. Fame or shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Oh, she might disagree with you on that. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. You know, I could probably handle this myself. Let's say we grab a beer in a few hours, catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter. I'll handle it. <laughs> Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family? Fuck only knows what that means. Hey, fuck you. Yeah. You're a model husband and a wonderful parent. I can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. It don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you and all, but you stink like piss, you got blood under your nails, and you look like you've been up for what? A week? Who the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you, you fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor motherfucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know? Really? Yeah. Okay. So, how you been doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Aside from the loneliness and heartbreak, of course. You live in Los Santos? A few hours away. Okay. So where? Sandy Shores. The Alamo Sea. Ah, I hear it's nice there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, the golf links, all the pumped-up plastic sluts you're used to out here, but, well, you know, it'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but... Yeah, don't worry. All right? I got somewhere to crash while we work things out. With actual friends. We got things to work out. Ha! <laughs> yes, sirree. This has got to be it. 
The maze bank. Let's go in. Come on, come on, come on! You can't park there! Production vehicles only! Come on, you dipshit. Ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir, may I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta, fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> that was really All right. It's the auditions Fame or Shame season 14 right here in Vinewood San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's that's beautiful. You're so original, like a, oh. a basket full of puppies, or a <laughs> rainbow, or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill, make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music! Security! Security! No. What you fucking Hold say? Come on, big guy! Oh, come on, there! No. Come on! Fuck! No. Come here, you little shit! No. Tracy, go home. Come back here. They towed us. We gotta take the truck. Get in the truck, Michael. I got a deposit on that truck. We're running that prick down. Look, he went left. How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. No one's getting in the way of the big rig. We'll flatten this dick bag. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. We can have a little fun with him, but let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? Ah, ah, he's going down into the L.S. River. I can see that. I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. The little shit's all out of juice. Oh, hey, 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 you guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, huh? Uh, I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Huh? Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. 
There you go. I'm all right. What are you doing now? I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music, or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll dance. Good. <laughs> what the fuck is that? All right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Oh. Come on, lower, oh, lower, come oh. on. Oh. oh, please don't kill me, okay? Oh. I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right. come on, no. get off. No. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Hey, Lester. Mike. Hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so you can rest easy there. Ah, thank God for that. Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't, Doc? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. And we call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot I told you about him. God. No, don't worry. Everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turned things over, you know, start it again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you turned things over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But that's not the point. I mean, I, I wanted to. That is the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. Oh, boy. Where do I start? I went back into the business. That business? I gotta be honest with you, Doc. I mean, why am I paying you all this money if not to be honest? For once. It felt good. That government guy I told you about, he got wind of it. It's fine. Expected. <laughs> Problem is, he's not the only one. He fucking found me, Doc. My old pal, Trevor. He's alive and he ain't going nowhere. This is bad, Doc. You gotta help me. Hmm. Honesty's an obstacle for you, Michael. Have you considered that transparency might be less painful than obfuscation? Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? Yeah. <clears throat> Even on the way over here, I think I killed someone. And you know what? I don't care. I'm sick, Doc. I'm a sick, hypocritical fuck. I agree. Which is why you should really bulk buy a batch of sessions. I just don't like myself very much, Doc. That's the truth. Hmm. 
What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means that's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. And buddy, chin up, okay? Hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life! I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Remember after that boat thing? Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see, I did you a favor. Never! I hate you! Internet and social media needs? Of course. Davey! How you doing? About as good as can be expected, but the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davey, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if, no, when, he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... Then we better go about saving it together, because... You and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy. Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of Redwoods. What the hell was that? 
Don't worry, it's just gas. No, no, it's reanimating. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Ah! Back from the dead, ah! motherfucker. Ah! Ah! Come out! Hands in the air! Come on. Might be in the other room. Give it up! Out! Now! That don't look right. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. But you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out. Hey, Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown, in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building? You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Hey, Franklin. What's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember, I told you I know people. Feds who looked after me when I retired. You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit, Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy. Fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. The problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so, shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. 
But you meet Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood here, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now come on. You better take off. Alright, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. And Trevor is a, the Trevor. Trevor is a Trevor is a what? Trevor is a good guy. He cracked family. Got kid, ain't he Floyd? So that, 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 that's it, right? Yes. Trevor? <laughs> but, the, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And, um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so. Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's gonna leave me. I mean, this is her place. And the fornicating? There's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa. Whoa. Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam, he died a noble death. Bringing great joy to a a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Oh, show me. Show me, no, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. <sighs> Mine ain't nothing special, but this boy gets the job done. All right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Uh, yes. Look at me! Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Oh, Jesus. Yes, I work at the docks. And? Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't rightly... rightly know. What kind of person are you? Oh, I'm that kind of person, Floyd. I am that kind of person. Now, let's get you... Wade and that little tormentor down there to put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run, we got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it. Come on then, Floyd, what you got for me? Like I said, I don't rightly know what we got. Uh, you're going to have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh, we're looking for something to steal. Uh, sir, uh, I stole a pencil in elementary school and I've been regretting it ever since. Boy, I got always work a stick in the mug. Uh, look, uh, sir, please, uh, just tell me what you want and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well, like pornography or a perfect turd. I can't quite describe it, but I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? $236 billion worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I don't want to hijack a truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside track on what's coming through. We don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put price tags on them. Have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well, there's been all these uh, Merriweather folks hanging around. Merriweather security consultant. Private army to the New World Order? My butt's gone, The folks up. waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil? That, um, sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one freighter? 
I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter. Perfect. Can I get on board? No, no. Uh, they won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. The other day, my colleague, Ralph... I don't give a shit about Ralph. We gotta take a look. Is there anything else? There's another bunch of Merryweather guys out by the Navy warehouse. They got boats coming in and out. I heard they was testing something. All right. We'll take a look at that as well. Go park and get to dispatch. No, yep, will do. <laughs> Go park and get to dispatch. Come on, it's just about to start. Here comes the suit. I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong real quick. It don't matter what went in his mouth, it matters what came out. We got a waste spillage and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. Hope you got a strong stomach, son. <laughs> Get in there. You gonna take me to see this freighter? Yeah, it's over here. You ever get helicopters coming in and out of here? You know, those big sky crane things that could pick up a whole container? Now, this is restricted airspace. They won't let anything out of here without clearance. Remember Shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that stretched to 50 feet. Now, what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they had the water surface real covered. Okay. That is the freighter I told you about. What do you think they got on it? We just stevedore them. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. Over there, two o'clock. Looks like Forrest got on the wrong side of some Merryweather guys. You! You! We need two guys on the handler. A couple of containers and baby gotta be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it. Now. You drive and I'll spot. How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers. They're going to check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous. Relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just uh, Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together. Stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. He's never happening when he's neck deep in shit. Uh, be careful. It's those containers. Baby. Clamp it on now. That's it. Now we got to bring it over to Bay F. I know why they call them handlers, because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. You happy? Now I'll get the other one for you. Me, anyway. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. Nah, nah, nah. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but... Cranes! Perfect! Oh, shoot. Hook it up! Hey, whose dick you have to suck to get this job? Being a stevedore used to be back-breaking work. Now you're paid brain surgeon bucks to push an oversized shopping cart. I did not fellatiate no one to get this job. 
Deborah's old friends with the... Well, with the... Oh, with the... With the say no more! You didn't fillet no one, but darling Debbie probably did. She probably enjoyed it. If my work here is done, I'm going up the gantry. Hey! There ain't time to admire the view. I've been waiting on a crane driver nearly an hour. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you! Come up onto this catwalk, then go down the ladder and into the cabin. Okay, I'm sitting here. What do you want? First, you gotta line up the cabin over the container. There's some lights on the spreader that should help with alignment. Looks like you're in line. You're in position, so drop the spreader down and secure the load. She's there! Lock her on! You got it! Now pick it up so it'll clear the other containers and move it down to the end. Take us to the other end. Bay number five. Further, come on! That's the truck. Ease her onto it. The truck is clear to go. Union thinks you'll get eye strain if you work any longer. Have a break. How about this view, huh? I'm gonna take some photos for the kids. Trevor, come on. I can take you over to the warehouse. We can use the big rig. It's over on the other dock. So they've been guarding one of them dry docks. We can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules apply to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. What do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. Uh, you know I'm insecure. You've got a dead-end job. What? Dead-end? No. Floyd, it's dead-end. Being a unionized longshoreman's one of the best-paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. They're so jealous. No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. It ain't so bad. Uh, I've been doing this every day for ten years, only usually with less of the criminality. You're wasting your life, Floyd. It's lucky we turned up when we did. I'm saving you from yourself. We ain't heard from Wade. What are you, his mother? He's fine. The spillage shouldn't take this long to contain. There must be a lot of it. Come through here. Restricted access. No entiendo. Uh, no understand you. Uh, manifesto. Manifesto say deliver here. 
God, don't speak English. Uh, must have just read the manifesto. He said, he said, he said, he Trevor, these photos, you've really stumbled onto something. The ship, Meriwether... Yeah, 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 I know. Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it, and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. Way it looks to me, there's a container below deck. They're guarding it for the government, keeping it off the books. Serious military technology, most like. Yeah. Of course. I just found a manifest. They're testing something out at sea. It's gotta be that. Now, get back to work. The TPI conglomerate ain't thriving. There's only one man responsible. Of course, yeah. But I'll start pulling all the intel I can get on Meriwether at the same time. I, I got a file here somewhere. in the name of all things holy. I, I, I tried to stop it, but it just kept coming and coming. Oh, it's, there, there, Wade. Look, 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 it's a, Betty, you're just not cut out for honest work, all right? Did, did you get what you needed? Yeah, 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 more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. Right, this'll do. That woman ain't even fine. Ain't no one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. That's oh, uh, low self-esteem, Wade. We gotta build him back up. Now! <laughs> and, there, perfect. All right, so, based on my observations, I'd say these Meriwether security cocksnots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container below deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. Need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing us a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, Bring it back here and find out what it is. Here? To the Congo? Aye, right, so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore? Offshore. Deep sea adventure. Gotta be. You and Floyd can help. We'll get Michael involved, and he can put us in touch with some local talent. Tell Floyd to find us a submarine, and ask Ron where we can steal a heavy lift chopper. Okay, all right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Yeah. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever going to smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right? And you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man. Smell him. No. Smell him. Uh, uh, <sighs> Trevor, Trevor. Uh, you're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. You damaged Deborah. Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide?
If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No bath! Ah, Trevor, hey. Mikey, hey, listen, loving it here in LS, really settling in. Getting my first enema tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I heard about some action. Yeah, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, there's still some prep work and research to do, but it's looking exciting. I'll need you to bring along someone you can trust. All right, bro. I know someone. Hey, talk to Lester. He'll have a good angle on this. Oh, yeah. Oh, and how's your flying? You might need to take a few classes at flight school. Why would I need to do that? Trust me, you'll regret it if you don't. Gonna be just like old times, pal. Said you have to leave. Trevor? Floyd, I've got that submarine we talked about. You gotta help me store it for a few days. Floyd! Don't go quiet on me, or I'll come around and I'll... Well, we both know what I'm talking about. Okay, um... All right. The, the bring it around to Pier 400 at the Western Docks. On my way. Look, uh, I'll have a truck to bring you around the warehouse. What's this? The Union man doing an honest day's work? There's nothing honest about this, sir. But this is a dishonest day's work, if ever I've seen one. Hey, we're not hurting anyone. No, but no one except whoever owns that submarine and the, and the mercenary foes on the freighter. Do some research on Meriwether Security Consulting, friend. They'd be on trial for human rights offenses if the U.S. government didn't protect all its contractors from any kind of suit, military or civilian. They're immune from prosecution, and they behave like they are. Murdering, stealing, high on power, guns and anabolic steroids. <sighs> Lucky bastards. Look, I don't know about that stuff. Oh, you're right. You don't. Merryweather are employed by the richest, greediest scum on the planet to shit on the poorest and the neediest. So we are going to enjoy shitting on them! Oh, great. I look forward to that. Okay, well, that's more like it. Floyd, you there? Uh, yes, sir. I'm on the crane. The surface, and I'll bring you shoreside. All right. I'm here. Oh, Jesus. It's just down the road. Los Santos Marine, past the shipyards. Is that sub covered properly? It'll be fine if we just get there. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I'm certainly not being short. I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew onto a score, you gotta be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. You threatened and cajoled and tricked me. You don't want to cut? Just walk away. 
I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. Deborah's home. No cut for you, no cut for Deborah. You can pull up. You're sure it'll be okay there? Um, sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. Now get out of here. lessons. How you doing, Trev? Fine! For a guy who just went into an air base and stole a chopper, are we ready to go on this thing? If it's a heavy lift chopper, then yeah, I'll get everything ready and I'll call you. All right. What's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I source worked the child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug, and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planning lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. And he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now... Consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs, you know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day. Oh. I need that oh, now! Hey, it's done. I know. Good work. All right, well, shit. Let me know about the next thing. Will do, uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little, uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and you know, property, so we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man, whatever. You know best about this shit. Hey, and we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit! 
Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking, that probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours, enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. Oh, yeah. Man, are you serious? This motherfucker is fly. Glad you like it. As I told you, it's yours. Are you seriously serious? For the fifth time, yes. Well, I gotta go. I'll be in touch about our little venture. Man, good looking. Yeah. This motherfucker. Woo! What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still, that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yeah, she's very centered. A regular you oasis see what I of live peace with? and tranquility, this with one. Anger issues and worse friends. No you... wonder I'm so upset. You too, please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. Come, come, Miguel, come. Awesome. So, Fab, if you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubts. Why is she driving a tank on hers? Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole. Now we begin to put the asshole to the earth. Yes, we begin each sequence. Katasana. Yes. Or mountain pose. Alright. One, deux, trois. Mouth and anus are perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. Un, deux, trois. It is perfect. Now, Michael. I don't know about this. Now, in through the bloated nose, and out through those wrinkled lips. Let it out, you're turning red. Maybe there's hope for him. A small, tiny, minuscule maybe. Air through the nose, and out the mouth. Wow, Michael, I never thought I'd see the day. In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? Just exhale, Michael. Isn't that far better than booze and nicotine? This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. Wow. <laughs> you feel that the emotion inside? Let it go. <laughs> Michael, join us. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. You can breathe, can't you? Very good. Now let it go. There. There it is. The silly man forgets to breathe. Later you can show a stripper how flexible you are. Breathe, Mikel. Out through those wrinkled lips. There! Let it go! Now, 
You breathe. Keep this up and we might actually have a shared interest. Yeah, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm, he may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata. Yeah. Feel the flow. Mm. Everything mm. is flowing in me. Oh. <sighs> Mike, would you? Oh, it's very weak, Mikhail. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? There! Your lungs, they work, yes? Exhale. You're sweating, Michael. That's all the impurities coming out. Breathe, please, Michael. No vanity. Come on. Take in the air and release it. Let it out, baby. Good. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Okay. Your lungs, they work, yes? Let it out. Tell me you don't feel centered. Breathe, please, Michael. We need to talk to the kids about having a family session. <laughs> you have come a long way today, Michael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Michael. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there you go. Mm, oh, oh, very... oh, oh, oh! What? Hey, enough of that! Can... Ah! <laughs> Yoga is the answer, Mikhail. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving and we are never coming back! Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! And that phony French fucking yogi! Ah! Jimmy, you still here? James! Go away! Oh, yeah, fuck you. You know what? If there was a rape button, I'd be using it right now. Unless you're a faggot and you like that sort of shit, and then I'll just rape your mom instead. Nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I got to meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. So where's your friend? Burger shop? Ah, burger shot. Well, you and your friend have got a mutual interest. What's that supposed to mean? You don't have to hit the bleeder burgers to get a body like that. But it certainly helps. Okay, yeah. I thought it was some dig about my appearance, which I'm already, like, totally insecure about, but I thought I'd give you the benefit of the doubt. Stupid me! Hey, you set them up, I knock them down. What can I say? You know what? You and me, we'll work out sometime, Jim. I'll have you down to fight and wait, and... Oh, please, ew, no. 
My friend actually, like, works at Burger Shop, by the way. Oh, does he, actually? I don't just hang out with trust fund kids. I cross lines. Like, his pool is totally small and shit. Yeah, but if he works at Burger Shot, he's more like a professional acquaintance. Like your burger dealer. He's my dealer dealer. You got a problem with that? Oh, no, not at all. So we're on a drug run then, right? I mean, let's call it what it is. Yeah, it's a drug run. But that doesn't give you an excuse to shoot anybody, okay? You really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. There he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <laughs> Yo, oh, bro, man, what's, what's up? What's up, doing? man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's your old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Mm. <laughs> ah, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck, Jimmy? Just, just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Oh, careful man. with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. All righty then. Hey, now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? Uh -huh. Okay. So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine. No. Really, this is not Chill normal. Out. You're just paranoid. This is not paranoia. This is totally justified <laughs> concern. You should see yourself. Hold the phone. This ain't right. No! I'm stopping! Oh, who's in there? It's harmless. Vets have been using it for decades. What? You anesthetize me? You fucking shit. I'm protecting shit. you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. What? Right? You're too crazy, Dad. Come on! Me. Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. 
Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who was a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Fuck! Tracy! Baby! You called? Yeah, look, Dad. We're worried. I'm worried, too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help, like serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're gonna be killed. Tracy, I love you, but you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy, that's all I could do. Hey, Michael. David. Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry, guys. This bar and hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant! Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, <laughs> duh! I love it! I, I gotta remember to write that down. <laughs> and to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andres, taking notes? This stuff? Whoa! Pure magic! They should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so, well done with our uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. Then why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up their questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. My career depends on this. And that's very important to me. So seeing as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. Now run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. You can teach an old dog new tricks. Let's go. The Bureau owns a lot out in East L.S., Covington Supplies, off El Rancho. Can you take us there? Yeah, sure. Sounds nice and secluded. Kind of place you'd run an off-the-books operation, huh? So what? So I bet Federal ain't on the deed, that's so. And we all like our Federal government open and transparent. Except when closed and opaque suits you better. Hey, I'm just a puppet. You're the one pulling the strings. Nice car. Taxpayers treating you right. Check out that loser! 
I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him, or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Okay. Michael, this ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. All right, that's cool. I'm in LS anyway. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that, so we had him picked up. That's a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got for this. With you, we've got good leverage. Great! And you brought Trevor in. We're telling him I'm all cozy with the F5B. You'll need discreet support. We'll maintain control of the situation. Discreet? Control? Yeah, good luck controlling discreet Trevor. Yeah, I wonder how controllable and discreet he'll be when he sees the guy who killed me and put Brad in jail. Maybe I'll hang back. Yeah, that might be a good idea. You know what? You better keep a low profile. Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Who's that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T, enough with the faux political bullshit! <sighs> Franklin, come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't Bill. Whoa. Well, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of, uh, son I never had bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen. If you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. <sighs> all right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right. And we do this, and they help us spring Brad, right? Yeah. We'll talk about Brad later, all right? I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah, whatever. The government gimp at last. Eh, yeah, bite me. Let's go. All right, let's do this thing. We need to go to the agency headquarters downtown. Your new friends are a riot. No wonder you said sayonara to the old crew. Walking away ain't easy, Trev. But sometimes I guess you gotta make compromises. What happened to dying with a gun in your hand? Life happened. Annoying wife, two kids. Remember them? You get tied down, you can't move anymore. What about your ties to me? To Brad? Those ties are why you got roped in on this FIB instigated suicide pact. For as long as it keeps me amused, I am. I ain't exactly sure it's gonna be amusing. We'll see. You know, you had me at suicide pact. The access point is on the west side of the tower. Get us in position so I can rappel down. You fuck around while I'm out there, I'll climb back up this rope and strangle you with it! Yeah! Hey, we're looking good! Next, I'll have this thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. <laughs> You think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. I install cinema equipment, not surveillance. <laughs> Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you think you're impenetrable? No, 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 no. 
see how you feel with this is 18 inches deep inside. Get the lube. Actually, no, no. fuck the lube. Who the fuck is this? Terminate him. Close this problem right now. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. Get me the station, Chief! 36 flow. I got you. We are not clear to fire on Mr. K. Hey, no, 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 no. no. I'm slipping! Please, hey, I wanted to bring that box. Hey, why are we just hanging here? Hey! Dooley! I'm not leaving here until you shoot those guys! So get moving on it! I knew you were a liability, you fucking turd! Whoa, That's it! Huh? Get us out of here! Roger that! Oh. Whoa! Looks like we've attracted the attention of their air unit. You got a bogey coming at you, Franklin! I thought I had the easy job. He's more of a protege. Yeah, what, you gonna teach him to be old before his time? Yeah, or to never grow up. That seems like a good kid. Huh? Michael, uh, look at this, huh? New city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. All right, Trevor, I'll see you later. Oh, you better believe it, buddy. You step foot in this yard. Why? It's half my house. Now, I'm gonna call the police. For what? Disloyalty, boy. Disloyalty? What is you talking about? Don't act like you don't know what it is, homeboy. Yo, you ain't been to the set, ain't came to none of the meetings. Mm, hanging out with old men, ignoring your homies, acting all superior. Your mama will turn over in her grave, boy. Mm -hmm. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gangbanger? Gangs is positive. That's all we got, my nigga. That's our heritage. 
Ain't nothing positive about your crazy ass. Man, where's Tanisha at? She got more sense than to hang out with your sorry ass. You know you always been like this, boy. I say left, you say right. I say become a doctor. You say become a patient. I say, who is that? Hello, Missy. Wow, Franklin. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise, Franklin's housemate. And aunt, my mother's old dried up ass Shut sister. the fuck up. Yeah, shut the fuck up! Here, darling. Why don't you go get yourself something nice, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> is, is it seven dollars? I said something nice, not expensive. You want to be a greedy fucking cow, huh? No. Now get the fuck out of here, all right? You men are all the same. Man, what the fuck you doing here? Here with the boy. The boys. What? I'm fucking new in town. I'm making friends, all right? Now let's party. Look, I had plans on getting some rest until this clown and my aunt came and fucked that up. My nigga, I just came over here to holler at you about the little thing. Man, I said I'm tired, dawg. What fucking thing? I love things. I'm the king of things. I ain't talking to you, homie. Hey, let's go do something about the thing, okay? What thing? Talking about the little stress thing, man. Fucking beautiful. Perfect. It's a gangbang. Let's go. Come on. Oh, come on, Who is this for you, man? What is nigga Man, just from, come man? on. Where's this thing happening? Down Grove Street. We shooting shit up, spraying some motherfuckers. I can drive by with the best of them. Behave yourself, man. Lamar, what's happening? What you in stress set up? We buying weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga, for real. Not this real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you and stress concerned. Man, this is an investment opportunity. You got to speculate to accumulate. Ooh! First rule of business. Hey, since we're out here banging, either you got some dust. Fool wanna get butt naked? <laughs> I'll get whatever it takes me, homeboy. Homie's crazy, man. <laughs> so I've heard. This the homie house right here. Hey, look, everybody be cool, man. Lamar about to do his thing, all right? Hey, be on point. This fool janky. Courier service. Packets to collect. You got the grip? Present and accounted for. <laughs> you like that, huh? Sample? <laughs> now we talking. <laughs> <laughs> My throat getting numb already. So we good, nigga, right? Well, let's go. How about a taste? No, man, we leaving. I want a taste of the other side of the brick. Now you heard what your boy said, you're leaving. Hey, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Back. Whoa. What the fuck? Did we ask for a key or a fucking ounce? Man, that's motherfucking drywall. Hey, we got some motherfucking buyer's remorse out here. Damn, you can't fucking hustle a hustler. Fuck ah. Help me, man! I'm about to be the victim of gang violence! Can we go now? This fight is over. Put down your weapons! Down to the river, come on! Damn, MC oh, Clip! That's the fastest shoot! MC Clip! Clip! Wait right there, dog! Hold up, hold up! Peace, peace! Man, jack they ass, homie! That's our way up out of here! Hands in the air! You being deprived of these pigs, bitch! I'm about bitch. to get gangbanged, hey, homie! Hey, taking clip shit! What the fuck are you doing? Let's do this! Damn, it's stinking this motherfucker! Shit ain't no river, man! It's a motherfucking sewer! Then we're in the right place! Look at that rock! Let me off! Baby, look, you're not even my type! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's why I don't date younger women! You are under arrest! Stop the craft and wait for a police boat! Stress said 
you up, nigga. Your big homie a snake. He didn't know they was playing for Mark. That on they dope. Man, you deluded. At least you got the me MC clip. Jack that motherfucker. Was that who that was? Lil' Brush with another celebrity. They blocked too. Hey, we should like race these motherfuckers. We are racing, you idiot. Racing away from the dudes trying to kill us. I mean another time. They got sea shark races all over the city. Helpful as always, homie. Let's split, my nigga, and keep our heads down. Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend. Quit that shit, man. Yeah, I know. I take speed mostly, and look at me. Boom! Best shape of my life. Yeah. Yeah, I could still take you, sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged, not because you're in good shape. Hey, why don't you stick to doing fucking crunches and feeling bad about yourself, all right, pork chop? Hey, fuck you. You know, I'm beginning to think that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Jesus. I just said the same fucking thing to my wife. See his face that last time I popped it. <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh, <laughs> than a tail catcher. <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, hmm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, Pop, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the slick bastard of the way from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. You know? So, You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. No. So I need to know. What did you tell them, and what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh huh. What? I. Hey. This whoa, whoa, whoa! What is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, no, no. Because no, no, I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. Hey, right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. Wait, wait. No, you get to work, and uh, I'm not here. The guy's your neighbor, Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. 
Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent ten years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary, or... Or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there? Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Townley. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. Oh, my God. This is bullshit. This place? Davey. They've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. There's no way that's your guy. Shit. You need anything? You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Cut. Hey, you want a coffee? Can I get you Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait, what are you talking about, the wrong guy? No, who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Huh, please, look at me, please. You gotta be a sick fuck to want to be a dentist. No, 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 no! I just have them laser! Best way to make a man talk is to stop him being able to talk. That hurts too much! <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tay here. Javan. What didn't you ask me? I know it's out here. I did his home theater. <laughs> he lives in Chumash. The right on the Western Highway. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. What a dick. <laughs> So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of it. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Townley. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? 
A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave, and you fucking know it. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. No, no, please. I tell what? you what Loosen you want. Loosen him up. No, no, please. This'll put hair on your chest. You going to kill me? My heart. But you will kill me. Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got given up. The second That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, 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 yeah. This talk. guy we're after, what does he look like? I was built. I was height. Middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. Oh, Sorry, too no. late. Trevor, show our contestant what he's won today. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. Woo. It ain't even the biggest tool in the room. What? Oh, oh. It's going to hurt. Please. Knee shot. <laughs> so what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. Oh, he's got beard. His folks. He looks like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to be sure. No, please, no. Huh? I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. This is a mental battle, my brother. You gotta convince yourself you're not gonna drown. What if you get it wrong? Say this! My mouth! I, I would drown! Oh, no! Torture it! I got blood in my mouth! I don't see what all the fuss is about personally. Enough! Dry him off! Let's get him upright! Oh, he looks so peaceful sleeping there. I don't want to wake him. I'm taking a shot of this after him. I'm still here. <laughs> oh, 
Mr. K. Uh, uh, Mr. K. I don't know anything, you please. Okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Red with cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. Well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Davey, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded. Maybe. Could be. Used to be. Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <laughs> Let's go, come on. Wait a second, me too. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Oh, what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. <coughs> Ow, oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on, let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you going to hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 you have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message. You're a torture advocate. Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. Here we be. Oh. Run. You're free. Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. Wait! So, it looks like we're ready to go with everything. Well, I don't think it's a good idea for us to meet at the condo, so maybe we should... Tell Floyd it is a good idea to meet at the condo. It's a great idea. And tell him we need chips and dip and prostitutes. Wait! Floyd! One of you shits must be here. Hello, Trevor. I missed you. Hello, Wade. I missed you, too. Uh, hello, Trevor. Oh, there. Hey, Hot Lips, where you been hiding? No, no, no nowhere. I got a, a knot the size of a baseball in here, all right? Needs a little, uh, loosening up, all right? Oh. Massage me, motherfucker! Good, good. Oh, 
Trevor's hard at work, huh? Uh, where's the surrogate child? Who? Uh, the boy! With the stars in his eyes. Not like that. What's not like that? Oh, hey! Hey there, uh, You and him, the old father-son issues? Gives me the fucking creeps. How's the leg rub? Oh, it's excellent! You wanna go? No, I'm good, though. Uh, hey, I, I called you boys here to discuss this job that I've been planning. The fuck are you talking about? Shut the fuck up, Michael, all right? You owe me. Hey, did you talk to Lester? I called him. He's in the hospital or something, all right? We keep him out and we get 20%. Well, unless, of course, you go states again and uh, have me arrested. Hey, it wasn't like that. You better not have been. I mean, like, you give a fuck. Oh, see, I give a fuck, Michael. It's a position, a fucking viewpoint, all right? Like God, like evolution, like anything else. Sunshine, boredom, lies, that's what we got. Other people, they have other worlds, but for me, I'm like a vulture just circling the desert looking for fucking corpses, you know, a carrion eating motherfucker. Do you understand that? <laughs> wow. Woo! Bravo, you fucking idiot. Man, I still don't get the score. What's the fucking plan? We got Floyd, all right? Now, Floyd's got... Not the... Fuck, get out of here, all right? Now, Floyd here works at the port. He puts me onto Meriwether Security, who were running some tests out at sea for Uncle Sam. We're gonna take whatever it is they're testing. Now, got a couple buyers lined up. I guarantee no problems, no major heat. Mm, let's get going, all right? Let's take our slightly past dead vibe to an airfield where I got a sub, got a chopper, I got everything we need. All right, let's do this, you fucks! Sandy Shores Airfield, bro. Sandy Shores? That's quite a distance. What's with this guy? Man, I didn't realize we was going all the way out there either. I've been told your generation are work shy. Repeatedly. But this is the first time I've seen it for myself. You won't leave the city for the biggest take of your life? Man, it's not like that. Well, what is it like? Huh? You think the world owes you a living? You want money and respect, but you won't cross the street to get it. That useless millennial shit is more of a middle class thing. Where I'm from, hustling is still hustling. And going halfway across the state is still, uh... Going halfway across the state? Yeah, well, Sandy Shores is the global headquarters for TP Inc., okay? So we gotta make the trip. TP Inc.? Trevor Phillips Industries. My company. Industries or Incorporated? If it's TP Inc., it'd be Trevor Phillips Incorporated. Just say it. You're mocking me! Nice! Is it so strange that I've made a success of my life? I know that wasn't what you wanted for me when you ran off, but still. Trevor! It's a business! Michael, an honest American business, and there aren't many of them left. Hey, you know this airstrip we're going to, we're managing it. Yeah, I hate to think what you did to the last managers. The lost MC LLP experienced an unexpected downturn. We had to step in. The Lost Motorcycle Club. <laughs> yeah, you're a serious businessman, T. I cannot believe this. The hard-working entrepreneur is getting shit from a guy so lazy he retired in his 30s. And then from this other guy whose sense of entitlement is so strong, he asks, how far we had to travel when he's offered a job he ain't even qualified to do. This is why the country is screwed. There's not enough me's, there's too many you's. Yeah, a country full of you's. That's just what this world needs. Shit would get done. It would be Darwinian. Hey, look, dude, we helping you out. But if you think you'd be better off on your own... No, 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 hey, look, hey, hey God, is that? Oh, just let's calm down, all right? We have a score to take. There is profit to be made. I mean, don't that beat getting picked up by G-Men and forced to work for free? Yeah, 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 all right. 
Talk us through exactly what's going on. We're going out to Sandy Shores. I know that part. My guys will meet us there. They'll have the submarine. I'm gonna get into said submarine that... Wait, hold on. You had the flying lessons, right? Ah, the flying lessons. Right. You know, I was gonna have them. And then... Oh, you total idiot! Hey, what's the next part of the plane? There's an army chopper at the airfield. You're both getting into it. Michael's flying. He's gonna take off, pick up the submarine with me in it, and fly it out to a point off the coast. You're gonna drop me into the ocean. I'll pilot the sub down to find the device the government's been testing. I'll get it, surface, you'll fly me back to the airfield. What kind of device? What kind doesn't matter. How much will be paid for it does matter. These are government scientists we're robbing. I said at the condo. The tests are being run by Meriwether Security Consulting. Ah, yes, the mercenaries. Fresh from fighting our secret oil wars. Should be very relaxing. If stealing a prototype like this from the government was relaxing, then everyone would be doing it. As it stands, we've got an opportunity to mint some serious coin. Oh, 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 oh. there's easier ways. And this sounds extreme, T, even for you. Can't we rethink? I mean, how deep are you into it? How deep? I've got a sub, I've got a big helicopter. I've been researching this since I got to LS. Those guys, Wade and his cousin Floyd, are expecting a paycheck. Same with my intel guy, Ron Joukowsky. Who is a damn sight better than Lester, I might add. Okay, fine, fine, I'll go along with it. Listen, Frank, if you want out, I understand. No, 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 I'm good. I can do it with a paycheck. That's the spirit! And here's my submarine! Floyd, wait! Stand by the hangar. This is our chopper, I guess.
The app is live. I'm reading the signal. Alrighty, tiny McFlyty, I'm down here. My phone's hooked up to the sensors on the sub. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I got an app here that should pick up the signal. <laughs> it's relaying the diagnostics from this thing. Come on, get to it, man. An ex-army helicopter hovering by this platform's gonna raise suspicions. Hey, how you doing down there? Oh, I'm staring into the abyss, and I like it, Michael. You see anything interesting? Oh, uh, just rocks so far. This looks like it, right there. It's bolted to the seafloor. I'm securing it. Got it. I'm surfacing. Hey, man, so, uh, got the thing. What is it? We'll know what it is when we can run some tests. Well, what it look like? What you think it is? Uh, best guess, it was... Hooked into the rock, maybe on a fault line, so... Could be a seismic suppressor to combat earthquakes and tsunamis. Or, no, potentially it's like a fusion reactor running on seawater. Like nuclear? Yeah, the good kind of nuclear. And is this what your bar was after? Yeah, oh for sure. No, we'll be paid, Frankie. We will be well paid. All right, we're hooked up. Now let's go back to Sandy Shores. Push the stick, Michael. We gotta move. Because I found this thing using an app on my phone, which means the private army guarding it can find it pretty easy, too. Yeah, oh. Merryweather boats coming right at us. Franklin, grab one of those guns and get those guys off our ass. Hold steady, here we go. Stay out. Hey, you picking these guys up? Oh, look at this! More choppers coming at us! Hey, I think that's all of them for now. All right, keep on going to the airstrip. Ah, just a slight miscalculation, buddy. Ah, then you calculate better, you asshole. I'll do what I can. What was that, T? I told you, that was Merriweather. Those choppers? Man, that ain't normal private security guards. Yeah, you're right. I have it on good authority that they're actually a lizard army who've taken human form to do the bidding of the New World Order. I hope you can flip this thing fast. And I don't want to see those reptile buddies of yours ever again. Ah, just a slight miscalculation, buddy. Ah, then you calculate better, you asshole. Roger that. Woo! Do you yeah. know what you've done? The Woo. wire is going fucking crazy. Oh, and good to see you, too. <clears throat> What's it been? Huh, ten years? After this, the government won't care how long it's been. They're gonna put you and everyone you ever knew on their kill list. And you! I thought you would be smarter than this. What'd I do? Stealing a super weapon to sell to the Chinese! Damn, T. This some nuke or some shit? I thought you said you spoke to him. Yeah, I did! Okay? Kind of. I mean, he was all woozy and shit. It doesn't matter, all right? It's done. We've got it. Well, we could put it back. You know, drop it in the sea by the time they get a salvage operation together. No! Oh, so you want a drone circling your trailer? We'll get you another score, Trevor. You owe me! Wait, get in that chopper! Listen to whatever this fucking moron has to say. Okay! All right, and on that note, I'm out of here. You won't be seeing me back here in a long time. Hey, we need a score, remember. Man, I thought I was done not getting paid for these licks. Hello? Me too. Brother 
O'Neill. Fuck you, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're the guy stealing contracts. You burnt the farm, killed my brothers. You had too many brothers. They needed culling. You're fucking dead. Aren't we all? We live and we die. That's our curse. Hey, you want to expedite the situation? Come fucking find me. Vespucci Beach, Los Santos, you inbred hillbilly fuck. I'll be there, man. I don't know when, but I'll be there. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. You killed people, you tortured people, committed a litany of other crimes. Oh, we're so straight, you and me. We're arrows. Davy, you can't do anything about this fucking turd? Here's Trevor. Great! Looky, looky, huh? A bunch of government shitbags and their favorite stoolie. What's he been telling you? Oh, he just said how you guys were happy to help the government in any way you can. Oh, really? Huh? Because I was told that if we helped out with that thing, which we did, then our past indiscretions would be forgotten in a haze of patriotic fervor. Who told you that? Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! <laughs> oh, you're good. The three cunts. Listen. We need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. But the agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid. It's a major problem. And now they've secured some funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? We think they're gonna use this money to finance a war on our streets. And we need you boys to requisition that money for us. The bonds are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> it's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're gonna be doing pat-downs at the airport before those fucking clowns are done with us. You know, fuck you. Hey, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Now how the fuck we gonna get this done? I don't know. I got it. Classic blitz play. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block, tow truck to sack them. We get some disguises. And we're gold. We just gotta hope like hell these are the kind of agency men that don't carry a panic button with them. If they are, we deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. I will keep my eyes peeled, General! Thank you, Michael. Hey, no problem. No, really. All right, guys, a few more details. We'll need boiler suits and masks for this job. The garbage truck. Let's get one from your park. Bring it back through the lot. And there's an auto repair place by the airport where we can get a tow truck. What else? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 get away. That would be nice. Get something fast and discreet. We park it off the road a good distance from the lot. And make sure it ain't near something we'll crash into driving off. That's it. All right, man, I got you, dawg. What? Huh? I missed that. Maybe shout a little louder? Bite me. Tow truck is at the lot. We have a getaway vehicle ready and waiting. Good work, T. Where'd you put it? La Mesa.
That's the garbage truck. You really are the spitting image of my older brother. All quality merchandise. All right, boiler suits are taken care of. Okay, that's everything. Come back to the lot and I'll talk you through the plan. When we get the stuff, Steve says we gotta take it to Devin Weston, the guy we met at that interrogation. It's a big investor or something. Anyway, that don't matter. I'll handle the drop-off. Hey, what's cracking? What's here? Right there. So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. hey. All right. Hey, what's up? Listen up. Here's the plan. Hey, right, Trevor. Yeah? I want you in this position up here. Okay, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah? I'm gonna be right here, in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley, in a tow truck. Hope is, they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, <laughs> here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes guy. It's all a little hopeful, homie. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down. Okay. When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, true to professional, dawg. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. The masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go, let's go. All right, T, I'm in position. What's the ETA? There they are! Incoming! Get ready to do your thing! Michael! You better get on your way! Get the truck in position! Block both lanes of traffic! Just stop the truck and keep it stationary! I'm stopping! You're on, F! Sanitation aren't meant to be here today. You better brace yourselves, you motherfuckers! We got contact! Alright, make it happen. Plant the sticky bombs. Okay, okay! Get away from the door! Everyone out! Let's go! On the ground, now! Move it! My fucking ears! I'm fucking deaf, you complete prick! Clean out the van, I got the guards. The alarm's been tripped. The cops will be swarming here in ten seconds. You better run! Shut the fuck up! Come on, good to go! You hear all them sirens, dog? They got a panic button, all right. Whole lot of cops on the way. Yeah, man, shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes.
Got a package for Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston? Come on. Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom! So long, motherfucker! Devin Weston. I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores. Big ticket cars. Major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Yeah, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very wealthy. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all right. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah. I'll think about it. All right. Me and Trevor will be there, too. I promise you. It's a step up for you. A real opportunity. Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very wealthy. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all right. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah. I'll think about it. All right. Me and Trevor will be there, too. I promise you. It's a step up for you. A real opportunity. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies with lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now... He's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> Hey, Solomon, 
I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here, just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club, we're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys, no cold feet, okay? Let's go. Day trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. You get lost, Wrinkles? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay? Sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. We are not going anywhere. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Just jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. It's not too late. Just, just, just chill. Be reasonable. Can I just say I was just in this for the promise of strong drugs? I don't want a new deal. So much has to be off the show entirely. Well, I've got a feeling you might want to reconsider as well. Not cool. Please. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Enough. All right. I'll do the shitty movie <laughs> for the shitty money. I'll do anything you want. I'll blow you. And just stop. Okay. See? That wasn't so hard. Now let's get you back to work. Hey, Milton. What? I think you owe an apology to Mr. Richards. Would I be in pain? No, he should apologize to me. A brutal honesty, bud. You're not that good. It feels phoned in. You're lucky you're working at all. <laughs> you're kidding me, right? I am an artist, dude. I'm you're apologizing. When you see Solomon, you say, Sorry for the misunderstanding, sir. And you will always, always appreciate the opportunity he's given you. Look, I just wanted a better deal. Everyone wants a better deal. Everyone serving coffee, selling cars, typing in spreadsheets wants a better deal. Now, where am I putting this thing down? When Devin Weston came to do a studio visit, he used the empty water tank. All right, then we'll do the same. Put it there. The water tank turned parking lot. Setting it down. Solomon's office. Come on. 
Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot? <laughs> what a wonderful surprise! Anton, my boy! You're an artist, I know that! And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliché-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love ya. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Well, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Hello? Dr. Isaiah Friedlander speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Not good, Doc. Not good at all. Well, we spent a lot of time over the years discussing how negative actions lead to negative thoughts as much as the reverse. Because of the compounding of your classical low self-esteem with your assorted sexual hang-ups, the desperate search for the easy answer in life, and your profound narcissism, reality will have a habit of handing you a repeated kicking. Anyway, what's up? Well, Doc, when you put it like that, I'm afraid I ain't got much hope. Have you been acting out again, Michael? <sighs> you know, a little up, a little down, Doc. Tell me about the problem behaviors. <sighs> okay, well, things are... I gotta tell you, Doc, they're awful. I'm making bad decisions here, and other people are picking up the tab for it. My family left me, and they won't even take my phone calls, but... But I did meet this guy, Solomon Richards. You might have heard of him. Richards Majestic, and we're doing some work together. <laughs> In the movies. Can you fucking believe that? I'm a movie producer. Well, I'm glad to hear things are looking up. But you shouldn't look for validation outside of yourself. Validation isn't a label. It comes from within. Any other violent outburst, Michael? I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just all of a sudden get up on top and right fucking on top. And then I lose my shit, and I hurt people, and then I feel bad about it. I, I'm a fucking freak. Remorse is good, but not as good as taking control before you act out. There's a part of me, Doc, I just can't seem to control. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. Not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. Ever since I pulled that fucking house off that fucking hill, my fucking life has been fucking fucked. You know, therapy can really help you, Michael. Which is why you should be really pleased with what you're doing. But I'm gonna have to stop you there. Oh, and there is one thing. Phone sessions are a little more expensive. Obviously. Obviously. But so fulfilling. Let's speak again soon. dress up as traffic cops and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh. Let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? 
This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does 2.7? Hey, how about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars, and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race us! We were just getting out of here anyway. <laughs> All right. Hey, we coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! God! Hello? Hey, you that lady? The intense dude's assistant, right? Assistant? This is Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel for Devon Weston Holdings. I need to tell Devon we got them cards. Mr. Weston will not discuss matters like this with you on the phone. I'll be your port of call for business concerns. Well, shit, me and your boss ain't gonna have any personal concerns. Bring the cars to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey, man, you know how hard it was to drive slow enough to stay with these fools? Let's have a real race. So Devin's lawyer says we gotta take them to Hayes Autos in South L.S. I'm gonna be there well ahead of you. Asshole. Well, I ain't waiting around, man. Let's go, but uh, don't mess up the cars, you hear me? Hey, Frank. Yeah. What did I tell you, bro? These cars, <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what, right before I met you, I was boosting rides and racing. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. Nah, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. 
So thanks, dawg. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. <laughs> hey, look. Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they work. It don't sound that different, to be honest. Now, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like... To you, what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. What's your angle, Mike? What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just a smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing her job. And I'll leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you. Back off her. Hey, your car's still all right, right? Good to see you taking this seriously, Frank. Good management. If I'm finna do this, I'm finna do it right. So, uh, how your car, Mike? <laughs> My car is fine. Yeah, I hope so, because I'm in charge of this shit, and I will dock your pay. The stains on the seats were here when I got in. <laughs> oh, come on, T-Man, please. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom. Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the... Fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion, a work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Like, right, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye bye gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. recognition shit already? Franklin, man, fuck that. I got a high ass, homie. One time I pick a brother. 
a minor infraction? The LSPD disgusts me! Well, it's not me. I mean, there's some bad apples in the department, but any accusation of a racist culture, uh... You wanna bullshit me? You can bullshit the freeway! We do community outreach, but we have minority quotas. Yeah, 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 your nice dick's got a minority quota. I should take... Look, please! We come so far in the last two decades. Oh, you're lucky I can't use this thing with one hand and fly with the other. Come in, Franklin. We're in position over Howick Avenue. What's the name of the suspect? The dude's name is Chad Mulligan. All right? Chad Mulligan. Roger that. This isn't the one. Would you look at that couple? Finally! Normal, adjusted, healthy people in this horrible town. Come in, Franklin. We've got a positive ID on the suspect. I repeat, we have visual on Chad Mulligan. No vehicle in sight. All right, look, cool. We're looking for his lockup, dog, all right? Stay on him and look out. Roger that. Suspect stopped walking, appears to be accessing a small garage. All right, all right, this is it. I'm gonna get the call. Hey, motherfucker! Oh, shit! Shit! Oh, fuck! What happened? Hey, look, just stay on him, man, and let me know where he is. car might be worth something, but it ain't. Is he ain't got no... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Suspect down! Fine work, ground unit! Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be here, dawg. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Settle down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. She is. <laughs> 
you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just take any car and go! What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work? This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia! Get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So, what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The He's... truth. Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, uh, some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to, people who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. Uh. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Huh? By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier, he's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's the pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want a drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right! Mike! Mike, you there? I got some poor bastard's dirt, Mike! Yeah, okay. Well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there. To that guy's house? Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? The little fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job, so what's it all about? Okay, the guy lives well. 
That don't mean we're robbing him, but it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck? All right, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down, and I'll be ready. T, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. I got her. First strike. Plane's coming down. You want it? Take him to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. Change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor. Trevor! Ah. I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. Where is he?
Uh, the fuck has happened? Why did he have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Come don't. On. Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while oh. while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called Shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out. You know, it's a, a very relaxing oh. little spot. A little getaway, if you will. A cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So, you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. You know how many fight classes I took? They need you on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus, are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him. At least get him a mask, or makeup, or something. I thought I had final approval on all stunt performers. Shut it's this guy down! Asshole. I've gotta get some control of this set. Get him out of here! That was a get out of here! Oh. Creepo! Get off the wheel! I need to get the fuck out of here! Studio security are shutting your ass down, wacko! Is this an abduction? Nah, you cool? No, I'm not cool. Not at all. I mean, chill out. I'm just interested in the whip. This button says spike. What do you mean, the whip? I could buy this car with... I could buy this car with what I make in a morning. I think you... Ah, I think you underestimating the value of this automobile. I overestimating your own... Whoa, see you later! I overestimating your own talent. Uh, I think you're underestimating what I get paid. You get paid a couple million for a morning's work? Shit, I should sack my agent. Yeah, shit. What happened when I pressed this? Stockholm Syndrome won't work on me, fuckball! <laughs> You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorting them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Ooh, shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set! Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that? Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. 
He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. <laughs> Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert? Out by Alamo Sea? All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Ah, uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> ah, listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And, uh, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition it. Fantastic! Let's go! I'm in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. And watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! <sighs> the weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Great, let's go! What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. we got to meet them in the air. I... Uh, well... Uh, okay, well, look, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit! Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks? Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultancy and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards. And Merchandise! I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci! I want country clubs, and a depressed wife with blonde hair, and a hot little secretary who bounces on my boy! Maybe if you'd buy into Oscar's business? I'm hearing there's a lot of bounce in the firearms sector. 
Well, I heard there's a lot of bounce in your head. Where's the TP Enterprise windfall, huh? It takes time. Time and money. Sure. And Michael Townley, the Santa, the fuck face is gonna give that to me. Crop duster? That's the best we can do? Call our guys south of the border. Tell them there's a fire sale. I'll get you on the CV! Run for trouble! The Merriweather plane is in a holding pattern to the west. Try and keep under the radar. Air traffic's being monitored from the military base. I got the cargo plane right ahead of me! Got the weapons they're using to enslave us on board! If we could get a hold of them, oh my god! You speak to Oscar? The Mexicans? This deal on? I'll let them know it's in the works. The works? I'm not risking life and limb for a shimmin' eight soul! Are you sure? It's just Oscar don't like getting messed with. Do the deal! The guns are good as ours! Okay! All right, we're out of military airspace. Clear to gain altitude. All righty! Come in, light aircraft. Identify yourself and state your intent. Me? I'm just a lonely guy out dusting his crops. Who are you? Unidentified aircraft. Divert your course or we will be forced to shoot you down. Really? Shoot me down? Well, that seems a little extreme, doesn't it? Final warning! Divert, or you will be grounded! My fate's in your hands. We are clear to engage! Destination. We are now landing in Mackenzie Field. Swapping radio channels. Over. Ronnie, the cargo jet is now part of the TP Enterprise fleet. You with the Max? Welcoming parties here, Trevor. Fly safe now. like a problem. Attention, Mary Weatherjet. We're under orders to escort you to base. Change course or we will engage. Or you could diddle yourself. Hey, Ron. So, um, the freaking Air Force are on me. Shit. Gain some altitude. They might not tangle with you up there. We'll see if that helps. Any offensive action will be met with overwhelming retaliation. I'm landing at Mackenzie Field. We can discuss this there, on the dirt, like men. Takedown is authorized. Change bearing or we will engage. I don't think... 
think you understand the effort I've gone to be here, pal. This is your final warning. Divert now or be engaged. Hey! You wouldn't shoot me down anyway. Think of the ground casualties. plane go down I survived and lizard army didn't do so well so that's something oh thank God the fuselage went into the Alamo Sea you might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something oh, good idea but it'll take time tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns okay look I gotta ask are you in with the federal government an agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, alright? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking <laughs> easy. But, uh, this... This here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Got yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this the place. You're a shell. Go! Fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're 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 totally psychotic somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh yeah, well I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open! See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen. I'm sorry. But we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one. Nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. 
Bye bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. Fucking Christ. All right. I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. What now? We got a funding problem. So we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this AC bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, D. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. It's common hipster affliction. Why won't be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. You're trying to wind me up, but I'm very, very angry, and I want this conversation to stop right away. Hipster. Fuck you! Fuck you, Michael! Say it again. I've made my point. I'm not a sadist. Yeah, it should be fun. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from L.S.? <sighs> Come on, man, knock it off. What? I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. 
Drive us to the bank. And we'll go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. They take us around back. Okay. Hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, we're gonna have to find a new score. No, no, no. Uh-uh. No, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey! You heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay, I brought my police scanner. Now drive over to the gas station opposite the bank, and we'll monitor chatter. All right. Base security services frequency. We have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Bolito cars 3, 6, 9, and 1 will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars. More in the wings. Bad cops guarding dirty money. Fuck how many? We can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm, possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not! We're still faster than your ass! I'm... Not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running. I'm surprised that ain't a one speed! He says, what took you so long? Had to let you win. <laughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. I mean, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. Yo, bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. That's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little, uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head-on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head-on. Head-on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. 
We need personnel? Just a gunman. He'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice? Choose someone good. He handled himself at the jewelry store. That it? You're sure? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm? you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. Huh? I, I'll get a motel, thanks. All right, to yourself. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Adios, amigos. Hmm? Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. Trevor! Martin! You know, I've been thinking about it, and I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. And frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you soon. Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Please, son. <laughs> you want to sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. Oh, man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low carb. Oh, fuck oh. you. Uh. Where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life, and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit. The picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit. That's gotten you real far. Oh, yeah. You've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> You've gone. Man, ten years in the sun, your brain is melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? That I fucking kill only on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. sane, 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 oh, okay. sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you, he hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here? By calling L.S. and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. I apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, huh? I might die. Hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boys. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Don't fuck stay it up. out too late. So what is Franklin doing for you anyway? He's tailing some guys, Mikey. Tailing. If he's back in Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about it? God damn it! 
Shit! They see us, man. We gotta stay on it. Hey, man, me and Chop on these punks. We coming up to WH, north of Chumas. All right, all right. The O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. Fucking elf! Elf! Oh, fuck! Hey, let's roll on this food, Chop. Do it. Oh, shit! <laughs> Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed? They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support, like, right fucking now. Don't worry. Incoming! Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's. You know the airfield. 
mind, don't you? Oh, yeah. You can afford a runway, but you can't afford to move out of that corrugated metal death shack. So how you guys doing? Well, we're alive. Hey, good work down there. I'm the one who says thank you. He was helping me. Thank you, Franklin. Yeah, it's cool, homie. And thank you, Chop. <laughs> hey, are you gonna tell us exactly what we were helping with? I know you said these guys stole some business, but that doesn't really explain why they wanted you dead. Oh, uh, didn't I say what happened after they stole the contract? Nope, you didn't. Uh, I went to their farm and I killed a lot of them and then I blew it up. Killed a lot of them? Yes! I think that was Elwood, Walton, and Wynn who we killed just then. I killed Ernie, Earl, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dalton, and Dawn, and a few other guys when I blew up the farm. So, maybe this was kind of a revenge thing. I don't know. Let's not forget that I'm the wrong party here. Yeah, you are definitely the wrong party. Oh, for sure. Coming into land. Don't it feel good, huh? Helping a friend in need? Come on, Chop. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we're gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back at Castle Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. Hey, you got off lucky, mama. Hello, who this? It's Amanda. Amanda DeSanta. We met at my house. Oh, yeah. Uh, shit, where you at? Look, I know that you and my husband and, and Trevor Phillips are... I don't know what the fuck you're up to, but I can make a pretty good guess. There's some weird things going on. Is he okay? I don't think okay is the right word. But he's alive. You should call him. he appreciate that. No, I don't want to speak to him. I just wanted to know he wasn't dead somewhere. Thanks. Don't tell him I called. All right. But look, he ain't doing too good without his family. the molester, bro. We got ourselves some military hardware. It's parked out back in my office. All right. We might be ready to move on this thing. Meet me up in the lab. It's, it's, it's not inappropriate. It's, it's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. First you take a hostage, against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her? Are you nuts? She's... She's a 60-year-old housewife! Ah, she's 57! And she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss ah. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. Oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them, and now that they're gone, you miss them. Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey! You mother... Hey! What? Enough! You got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. Here's the shot. We're going to Palano Bay, and we're gonna do this thing. Any questions, comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. That crazy motherfucker was with us now. He would have loved this. Instead, he's gotta enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in, they grab the tape. <laughs> They rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Does that, uh, work for everyone? Great. Let's go. Let's get this done. Alito Bay.
You ever hit a bank before, Franklin? Yeah, I was the driver on the job my boy Lamar pulled. Guess it's the same kind of shit we doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? Shit, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Come on. Everyone remembers their first score. Ah, uh, shit, not me. Huh? Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10G. Yeah, things were easier back then. Yeah, 25 years ago. Jesus! You, generic goon. What was your first bank score? Okay, we're doing this? Uh, Robin Stash Baston Khan, I guess. Let me think. First real lick. Uh, all right, yeah, armor car. Homies broke down in these slots, know what I'm saying? They had it coming. Ah, how much you take? Two hundred, thousand. Oh, big dog. First time out. Had to send most of it up the ladder, yo. Repping Bagos, homie. Yeah, so that was when I went independent. Man, I hear you on that one. Hey, your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are, on our way to almost certain death, bonding, pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here, soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember... If he don't remember? I'm supposed to trust this man with my life, and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job? Well, how about you? Why don't you share with the group? I'm here, I'll back the facts. The check's cash place? I went in, took him for eight grand, walked out. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe he ID'd me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe I was out in four, and that, children, is why we don't leave witnesses. That, children, is why you don't rob people that you know. <laughs> yeah. Franklin, share. Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man, shit. Okay, the score was like two stacks, man. 2G, take home on your first gig? Fuck, that ain't bad, man. Man, the whole score was two stacks. Only I didn't see none of that shit. Die pack went off, home. Money was useless then. Die pack? <laughs> you amateur! I knew I shouldn't have told you shit. Hey, Franklin, we all gotta start somewhere. Last time I tell your ass something, Ow, oh, come on. <laughs> Don't be so cold, man. Learn to laugh at yourself. You're in danger of turning into this man. Who, me? Yeah, you. Wouldn't laugh, wouldn't hang out. Uh, I've got my work, I've got my life. Uh, I never the truth shall meet. If we're risking our asses, we gotta be family. How about that, die back? Man, fuck you, sense of humor. Hey, let's just do this thing, all right? All right, Frank, we're gonna drop you up here, okay? When you hear it kick off, get ready, because we're gonna wanna go ASAP. I'm gonna get away, man. I'll do it. All right, you know where you gotta be? I got it down. I'll bring a die pack just for you! We ready for this? I could use a restroom break. And risk getting ID'd. You're an idiot. I gotta go! It's number two! Yeah, we'll pinch it off. All right, we all good? Let's hit them! Let's do it! On the ground! This is a stick-up! Going one of two ways, friends. Everyone on the floor now. You and you out from behind the counter. That's it. Hands in the air. M, keep an eye on our trusted employee. Okay, you got the crowd. Cops should be here soon, so keep an eye out. The lock is down. Just the door try open, it. M. If I ever meet this alarm guy, I'll fucking shoot him. Yeah, not if I get to him first. Yeah. Stay back! We got hostages! Tell the sheriff the 211 is confirmed. We're gonna need everything we got down here.
sheriffs here. We never could have beaten that response. There's other ways of beating it. Move it! Call up procedure! You know you're surrounded, so you ain't getting a ride to the airport! I don't care if they surrender. I'm killing me some bad guys. Now let the hostages go, and, uh, we'll talk like gentlemen. Time to face the music! Sweet mother shit. That was your fault! Keeps on rising! the fences here, real and emotional. This is a hard fight, but these suits might get us through it, yo! Plow through it! We're not letting you out of here! Hey, Frank! We need another escape route! Can you find a vehicle? Something might stand up to gunfire! There's some construction around the way! Stay behind it! We gotta push through this roadblock! They got tack guys in Polito Bay! They ain't leaving Wayne County! More cops! This is on you, copper! Just keep firing! Give yourself up! Oh, They were in there playing dress up! Keep going! Up here! We're right into them! Uh -oh. Put that body on her! The fuck called them? Ain't we doing this gig to buy one of them choppers? They got the army on us! Don't they got great wounds to be fighting? It's, good uh, good. it's too heavy! You wanna play dead? We won't be playing! Hey, hey! Through here! Right along! Ah, fine! Uh. What are you doing here, Private? Ah, shit! The fucking army! They call the army! How the fuck is Uncle Sam involved? War vehicle! So this is where our defense spending goes. The army feels corrupt too? Don't you got some global police work to do? M! T! They're flying a tank in our direction! Oh shit! And we really gotta go! You just go! Link up with F! I push this way and get them away from you. Then you drop by when you're together so I can get out. Sounds good. Hey, it was worth paying for someone who could think on their feet, G. All we gotta do is hold this position till Franklin gets here. I'm on my way. This is it. You okay? I ain't dead yet. I'm on my way. Listen to the shoot! Can't point they tough! We're holding here! So I guess we shooting our way out of here! It's getting hairy over here! It's hairy over here too, man! Chill! Oh! Over here! There's a ride! Good kid! Go! 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 Get some! Go left! There's another tank coming from the right! Hey, quite a disturbance you cause. Ah, oh, shit. Well, you know me and Trevor. Wherever we go, drama follows. That's one way of putting it. Hey, hold on! 
That tank don't look too friendly. Uh, let's go inside, regroup. He shot old man, huh? Group just fine. Now y'all look hot in the motherfucking them suits. The platform, let's go! Hey, let's get this paper home! Let's hop the train! Come on! Here we go! Right here! Get on! Let's go. Yo, easy, easy. I'm a friendly. Agent Sanchez. Our very own corrupt G-man in training. You gotta be careful, buddy, all right? Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, you'll be shot, amigo. Very amusing. Yeah, if you're expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay, and here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh yeah, that's a huge fucking win. Woo! Monsters. I'm out. Agent Haynes will get in touch with you once Operation Save the Worlds ago. Get your crew together, okay? Fucking punk. All right. We should probably split up. They're gonna be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Come on, Franklin. Man, I'll holler at you, home. Hi. Fuck. Seat up. Serious. What a shit hole. Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker. Living out here, away from the man. From what I can tell, you're like a high school athlete. Living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat. And now, you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed? Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand. You understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. Tell Trevor the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. Yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Well, hey, watch your mouth, boy, all right? It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, oh. baby! Yeah! Oh, this better be fucking good! Oh. Oh, Jesus! Fuck. Ah! Oh. Man, we've talked about this hygiene thing before, bro. I invite you into my home, this is how you repay me? It's like living with a fucking horny skunk. Get a boat and meet me under Rat and Canyon Bridge. I'll be on the earpiece. All right, so I'm taking a car to steal a boat, stick up a train, and get some gold. That's about the size of it. Make it a fast boat. Ah, the logistical mind of Trevor Phillips. So it's like gold bricks on board, right? Sometimes. This is a high-value courier service run by <laughs> Merriweather. Oh, Merriweather? Tranquilo, Mike. This ain't a weapons train. It's goods too valuable to insure for air travel train. Gold. Sometimes gold. Sometimes artwork. Priceless antiquities. Sometimes enough for you, me, Ron, everyone. Fine. Like a mirage in the desert. Here's my train. Chugga, 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 chugga.
Mike, oh yeah, another thing for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay, I'll pick them up when I'm back in the trailer. Back in the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting changed. Whoa, 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 whoa. getting changed? What if, what have you turned into? I've got a ticket! Hold up! Don't leave without me! All aboard! Conductor on this train? You on the water? Sure, just caught a fish. Let me know when you need me. Got it? Eat it? Be under that fucking bridge. When we go past Polito Station, whole of Merriweather's gonna be on to us. Em! Em, I ain't far out! You under the bridge! Approaching the inlet now! I'll power through to the bridge! I'm living the life, my friend. This is quite a spot you pick. Enjoy it now, because it's about to start raining fire. Oh, shit! Shit! Oh! Oh! Shit! What we're after's in that orange car. Plant to bomb on the door. Get your ass in there, Mikey! I'll be as quick as I can be. I gotta run a fucking salvage operation in here. Merryweather recovery teams arrive! at this rate, come on! It's dark and wet and loud in here, T, all right? I'm out here doing the hard work while you're in there relaxing. Find something! They got shooters on the track! through your glands. My glands are just fine. Without the crashing trains, exploding helicopters, and sinking boats. Come on. We need to get on land. Pull her up down the coast. Whoa, man. You work hard for your living. Boil it down for me. 
How much you think you make for a senseless killing, huh? Couple nickels? Times are tough. Have been since we put you in the ground. Hey, you had your savings. That I couldn't access because you blew the identities. You know, there was nothing for Brad's defense. Transport's taken care of. Ron's dependable, you see. Oh, his and hers, huh? Because of your independent spirit. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. All right. It's perfect. Perfect for fucking what? For squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be dead men in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is my job, not your call to make. No, no, your job. Fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get uh, your own! Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. Oh. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Verging suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. You remember the dreams? A couple kids pulling jobs, the big one. I know it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again. With Lester and Franklin on board. We can do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. Nah. You keep the case. Fuck me. Okay, hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every day. Inch of the way, all right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying guy. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. The big one! The big one! Hello. Townley's on the line, too. Hey, Trev. All right. I need your whole crew over at Cape Catfish. We're moving on the chemical weapons plant. Nah, 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 nah. I just gave something to Lester. I need to deal with some stuff, get back to Los Santos. Just, uh, give me a week. We got the equipment with your Polito money. The gangbanger's already on the way. The window's open, my friend, and you are jumping out of it. Shit. Shit! Los Santos ain't going anywhere, bud. What's going on, ladies? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael. Business. Uh, All right? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time-consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh -huh. You know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us... Please just... fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Oh, 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 hold on, man. Could y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a frickin' lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, fuck uh, uh, it. Let's go. You three can do it alone. And I fuck you. 
You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on, come on, Mr. Leisureware, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency, and they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 there is no getting it straight, that's the point. Now we're doing this! You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us! What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton. Been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we say for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Follow the coast to the south. It's not far. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. Oh, thank God. Fate shall carry me safe through these selfless acts of charity. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here goes! There'll be a grate over the outlet. Townley, you've got the cutter. When we get there, go to work punching through. Roger that. I'm taking the oxyhydro cutter to the grate. That should do it. Okay, we swim down the tunnel, gain access to the facility. You sure this thing comes out where you think it does? The intel is good. We're a hundred yards out. Ah, I feel like I'm giving a colonoscopy to the Statue of Happiness. Nice change from being up Trevor Phillips' ass all day. You feel that? Water's getting warmer. You wet your pants, Davy? This is a cooling tunnel. Of course it's getting warmer. No one urinated. Uh, I know for a fact that that ain't true. The problem with this job is I only get to know the criminals who are dumb enough to get themselves caught. Yeah, only I wasn't caught, remember? I turned myself in. He makes a point. That makes you doubly dumb. This is the third turbine. That's an air pocket. Take it up to the surface, people. Swim over to the ladder! How are we? Huh? We ready? I was born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. Lead the way. Bank robber, set your phaser to stun. Hands up, you, now! Against the wall, quick! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him to sleep, Mike. 
Come on, let's go! Hands where I can see him. Identify yourself! Make him shake like a stripper's tit, Mike! Okay! Now hit the elevator! So what exactly does a neurotoxin look like? You're on a need-to-know basis, bank robber. Shut it. Elevator coming. Body on board. Stay vigilant. Out, out, out! Easy now, easy now. Please, don't. Grab the card. Next floor. Come on. How you feeling about this? I'm feeling pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Round to the right. Come on. Clear. Let's go. You see the lab geeks? I don't want trouble from these two. system overridden from in there. What's that? I'm on it! You! Hands up! Back up! Back up! And freeze! We get collateral! You want to see his very large brain smit on the glass? Open up! Stick up, guy! You're expendable! Get the nerve agent! Move it! Move it! This will make me... the most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Oh, man. Thank you, federal government. Put the humanitarians to sleep, Michael. The toxin is volatile. We need to get it into a refrigeration unit. Warning. Facility has been breached. Facility has been breached. Another couple of guards. You chose the wrong line of work. Get me out of here. Can we go? Hold by the door. Man, these idiots are pissed. Let's get out of here! A little cover! Ah, you fucked with the wrong soldier! Everyone thinks they're the good guy. Cocksucker! Put the agent on ice. Refrigeration units in that container. before the sell by. Okay, steady. Ah, easy does it, Em. Just as I was getting used to having the apocalypse in my pocket. There you go. Phillips is on his way. Good. Get this thing ready to move. I'm just a couple clicks out. Is the package ready? Package is ready. Get over here, man. I can't believe they spent the tank from the Polito job on this chopper. It's a flying pig rig! And we need a flying pig rig right now. Bring her down! Easy does it! Run it up with a loading vent! We missed the window! Agency response team's already in the building! It's never too late! We're going! Let's go! It's too risky, Bandito! That bird goes down and takes half the West Coast with it! You know what? If you're done puking up excuses, how about we come up with a solution? Okay, okay! All right, yeah, uh, you go, I'll stay in cover! Fuck it, fine by me. And the dead bodies? I'm lucky I'm not one of them! Come on. Let's go! Me, special agent, I got this covered. Detain this man. Fuck you, I should detain you. I just took a bullet from my country. 
chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Huh? You and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What is this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. I had a wonderful time, Trevor. But we both know I made a vow to my husband. <clears throat> I know! You have a great pain inside you. But you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy, so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. <laughs> There's a... For some reason, everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. <laughs> treat you! I know. I know. No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! Yeah, otherwise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Good friends! Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I miss you already. What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. 
This ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that, boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy come in, huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now! Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah. With every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you, I've got a career! I don't need this, this, this crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now, you and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Deborah? Ooh, interesting lady. Yeah. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. I know just the place. I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kinda uptight, but she can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Boy's trip! Exactly! Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got you got syrup? Yeah! Syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just... no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure! Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you, driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is... You can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. Here we are. What do you think? So, this is where Floyd is gonna meet us, the strip club? Oh, yeah. That guy doesn't like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here! Mm, right here! Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie! Hey, you two! You two, I want you to give this boy a good time 
for a long time. <laughs> hey, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taken over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. Hey, before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon. The old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 15.30. And Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point, so we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we, are uh, taking the temperature? Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. You'll get 20% of 200 million. A maximum of 200 million, if I can get the funds diverted and you pull it off. Still, come on, 20% of that's a lot of coin for sitting on your fat ass. Is it too much to ask for a little respect? Just a little? Because I respect you, Trevor. Strangely, I do. I can see how you're useful. Terrifying, but useful. Oh. Well, I can think of a few uses for you, you chubby little ball of fun. I want your help. All 20% of 200 million of it. Actually, man... We're down on Alta Street, coming up on the back of the bank. 
I've got another job I want your help with after this. Yeah, right. Whatever. No! Seriously. Payment up front. What is it? Yeah! I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I want to bring you in... 13.30. We're an hour down, two to go. I didn't think it was, but now I do. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Okay, I'm gonna stop you there, T. Some things are just better left alone. Brad's not a thing. He's part of the crew. Well, a crew's more than a sum of its parts, and he was a pretty shit part. He is a pretty shit part, and that's only because he's in jail. No, he was, is shit because he's lazy, forgetful, mean, and stupid, with respect. He's changed, all right? He writes now, emails, he's educated himself inside, and he'll be a valuable part of the team. Why don't you talk to Michael about it? I will, but I gotta talk to you too. You're planning this. Talk to Michael, then come back to me. Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man, when there ain't an obvious profit in something. You're a hard guy to motivate. You're the one who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on. Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The security's internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good point. Don't want them jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. We're running out of time! Uh, well... I clockwork, Mikey. I clockwork. Come in, Michael. We have a visual on the convoy. Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We're mapping the route and finding an ambush point. Stay with them. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh... Won't! We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> what about here for the job? Where? Under one of the bridges. It's en route and we'll have plenty of cover. It's too open. There's a number of get-outs and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars. With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side. A central station is monitoring the car's positions. The GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel. We'll have red flags all over the place. Fine! What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. And the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. I've lost sight of them. Think they might be in the tunnel. Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. Now, go around! Meet them at the other end! I was hoping they'd come through here. This 
Apollo would work for a switch. They go in, you come out. There they are, back out in the open. It'll need to be a quick turnaround, but you can take them in there. I'm picking up the cars, right on time. Hey, it, uh, it looks like we're gonna need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. <laughs> Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! Now just hover here! Hold here. That should hold some weight. Hold in. That's no good. It's load-bearing. All right. I think I've got enough information to work with. Hey, so how you feeling about this? Feel pretty good. We got Lester Plan in it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. And will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA. And your family, man. You know what, I met Amanda and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. All right, holla him. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. <sighs> hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Ah, oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know, no? sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know, you are a man of action! You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back, all right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend, bam. No, it's not it. I got money, it just makes you miserable. I wanna make movies. Great. It's great. And, uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're gonna do this last big job, and then we're gonna dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me! All right, this is a fucking way of life! I got a fucking family! Yeah, well, I got nothing! No one gives a fuck about me! I do. Oh, fuck you! I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. 
everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! Let me, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! <laughs> ah, great! Fuck you! Hey, come on, where you going? You know where I'm going! Fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on! We order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza! Fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh no! No, it's clear and reason thought! Finally! Stop your car! Come on! Come back, we'll talk! Oh, I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies! Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything! Just stop the car! Turn around! I'm going up there to see it for myself! You'll be disappointed! <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Oh, the lies! How do you do it, man? The game is up! I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath! Trevor, come on! Fuck you, Michael! Soon enough, I will. Shit! Special Agent Norton. Shit. Davy. Shit, he knows. I think he knows. What? Who? Think. Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit. Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. But I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know. Go through! Bye. Time was... Motherfucker! A brother used to know who to trust around here. Not no more. Whatever. That man is already in the airport. No matter what he's doing, we'll be able to get him. Listen, Amanda, we're going to move to Los Santos. Start over. I made a deal. The slate will be totally wiped clean. Hey, everybody, pay attention. No one gets hurt. gets hurt. Trust me, darling. Look at me, Amanda. It was the only thing I could do. Either everyone dies or one guy gets out. I'm that guy. Slow and steady, team. Slow and steady. His name is Dave Norton. Nice guy, realist. He gets the glory, I get out. It's not even a decision. Amanda, I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing? Or do you want to go and live where it's always sunny? All right, you want to live? Tell me you want to live. Work this out. Some depot out of town you don't need to know. Trust me, nothing is going to go wrong. Nothing. Yeah, I hear you. We got to find I did the deal, Amanda. It's over. Baby, we get out. Be happy. Be normal. 
It ain't supposed to go down like this. We did it. Baby, we are home free. It's over. This is fucked, man. The thing is blown. Just this one job and everything is done. Everything is done. <laughs> Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. A guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. <laughs> There's nothing there. Uh, this is it. Moment of truth. As if I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep ten years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger! You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! You. Fuck! Fuck! Joe Phillips! Mr. Cho has requested a word! Hey, ho ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's this event? How's this event? Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? Motherfucker. Trevor. Fuck! You got nowhere to go, boyfriend. All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. Ha! <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, huh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? My Cody Santa. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up? for his safety. <laughs> My lover! Yeah, right! That's a tough break. I never want to double-cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. Hello. <sighs> Who is this? It's me. I shouldn't have called. 
P patricia Mrs. Madrazo! Hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, Patricia, I really miss you. A time together it was... It was very important. I... I have to go. Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! Trevor! Oh, I miss you. All you boys. I miss you too. I, c I can't speak for the other boys. You're such good friends. Uh, it's a bit more complicated than that. Actually, Michael and I, eh, not speaking. Old friendships cannot be replaced. Hey, how are you? Is Martin looking after you? He's here. I've got to go. Lamar Davis! What's up? I'm part of the team. That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car still a team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Polito Bay. All right, buddy. Fine. That's a long trip. He waiting at the garage. Oh, shit! The boost, homie. How'd it go? Any problems? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now. Like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride, I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Hello. Hello. Line it up on the carrier, homie. Two weeks late. The final piece of the puzzle. That's teamwork, motherfuckers. The boss man's happy, then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust-ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass right. in the truck. Let's go. Sonora Freeway, past Paletto Bay. Hey, it's, uh, cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah, scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, nah, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. That ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? In this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, mm -hmm. Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool's sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, his creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because... Like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that, and as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude, but considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I use the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruity. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck! Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. 
shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that! And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who? Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rods. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. No part of its mythology like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tied with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off? Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulage. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Oh, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, the sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real shady. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, if I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little old bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you! That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. Vent. The turd! Who's probably playing me from the start. Oh shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. What you gonna do, oh fearless leader? Okay, shit, I got an idea. Keep driving. I'm gonna take the tricked out JB700 and get rid of the tail. Devin's lawyer said there'd be some new hardware on board. Hey, don't forget the headset, homie. Ain't hood. 
Cops right to us, dawg. Maybe you should have done the boost, Mr. CEO. Now get on the shit. Man, dealing with these pieces is big raid, homie. Man, we need to shake these rollers, nigga. Hey, Coming up to GO8. Man, the cops was all over us. They slowed us down some. That's not surprising. The insurance companies have been pressurizing them to find you since the studio break in. You knew there'd be heat? Man, you could have told us. Don't get emotional. We're waiting at Procopio Truck Stop. Be here soon. The lawyer ticks up at the Procopio Truck Stop. Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. You taking care of. Head back to town. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Um, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? We are women. We are free. We're bringing an to the patriarchy. We are women. Here are pain. We are women. Here are shout. We are women. We have no doubt. We are women. We are free. We are Shut women. the are fuck free. up! Thank you. Oh, my N-word, huh? <laughs> What's up, homie, huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> what a, is that how you act, huh? When a, when a friend makes a mistake, huh? No. Really? Oh, no. What, oh, so what? It's just me getting hurt? Is that funny? No, huh? man. Well, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground, you laugh at me again. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you... Oh, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act. You little jumped up, motherfucker! Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was funny, all right? I, I apologize. I accept your apology, okay? All right, so let's hug it out. Mm-hmm. Nah! Nah! <laughs> right? You're so fucking you're funny, gotcha! Huh? Oh, fuck! No, I'm not funny! Fucking asshole! Oh, fuck! I, I had a difficult childhood. Damn, man, you all right? I'm just fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have... I would have just look, look, fucking look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael, fuck Michael. I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before, but what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped. Yeah, and now it looks like they're holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's gonna be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro. Don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? What? What was that? Uh, nothing. Ah! Mm, asshole! Everybody! Assholes! <sighs> hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Michael's being held by a Chinese crew. Because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. I told you! He ain't my g -Lab. Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot! You're making a mistake! It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to call in every favor I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you! Kill him! Hey, Trevor hey. Phillips isn't oh. coming. Whoa, 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 No, hey, hey! Hey! Hey, I ain't even gonna make a tasty hamburger. I only drink broccoli juice. Two seconds! I'm coming, man! You want me to waste the point for it? Fuck it! There's more guys coming from down there. Pull me a gun! Now you're strapped, man! Alright then, I'll see ya. For sure. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. Alright. Well listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go. What the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Man, before all that, I'm talking about the feds. Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. All right, look, I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw an out. A future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <sighs> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. 
when you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. I'm just saying. Set some fat fucking old jackass on me, please! Big man! Ooh. We had a deal! We had paperwork! Hey! Well, fuck off, Johnny! Hey, you're a couple real badasses! Put a beat down on an old man! Yeah, we don't take that! We have a deal okay. with them! Just about. Please, get those millennial ass wipes! With pleasure. You fuck what? Hey! Here's an old man who might hit back! You were a tough guy. You want to get clipped? <laughs> How you like me now? I'm only a paraplegic, but you can't feel anything. Ah. Uh. Yeah, you're throwing me softballs. A rum runner. But, uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. Coming! Come in! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. Call me. Hey, but <clears throat> oh. hey, I'm sorry I spiked you. Okay, I just I get so mad and I can't control things, and then you know shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now, and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out, but all that wimpy shit is just. Well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but 
I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in this so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job. Because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey. Uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better-built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hint. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. Mom said she was at Bean Machine. So... What's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, s stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Those beast Hispanic dudes with automatic weapons and blacked out windows? They kind of made me think it was an involuntary exodus. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. Oh, okay. Here they are. Come on, let's say hi. Let's walk up and be civil. Oh, caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more... Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen... Shush, here. woman! Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael? Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is too a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit card on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? What? what are you doing? Ah! 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 I had some really good work there, you dick. There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda, I want to, I'm meaning to say to you, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Did someone say... Shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No. No yoga. <sighs> All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. But what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on. I want one too. Later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. What? 
Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Uh, yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa! whoa. Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. Uh, uh. Come on, just not the tongue. I need that for my work. Mm. Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah. Uh, how does it look? I mean, be honest. Ow! Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? Ah. Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks purty. Here, let's get rid of this. Ah. Oh, my God. Ah. Papa Bear, what's daddy number two gonna think about this? Ah. Let's not get him involved. Uh, let's do... Uh, that, that, that's, a, that's a clean needle, right? I don't need more hep C. Uh, please don't put a gang symbol on me. <laughs> please don't tattoo a cock. Uh, should I draw his three pubic hairs? Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, Nice. Uh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can. Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash uh, you over the head with it. Too nice fuck this. Uh, 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 snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. What are you doing? Oh, oh no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown, I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it! Yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll like call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ever a family that needs therapy? My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite. Difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Pop, now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian, around the head with the laptop. Oh yeah, like pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine patio. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He's so up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long, and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good, not an objective universal good but like a subjective, what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's 
rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad! Yeah, do, do it. it! Do, do it. it! Enough, okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't, like, actually rob a liquor store. That might, like, kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Fighting. Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not... Work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank! I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center. Before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal! You're fucking ain't right on deranged! How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. But... Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael, <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey, so are you gonna come home with me or what? I guess we'll give it a try. All right, then. Kids! Are you gonna take us home, then? You know, there was a moment there. I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Cathartic. All right, I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do, all of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining, Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. 
Can you do that? I'll give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers. Or other women. Yeah, Dad! Gross! You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, okay? Yeah, it's so demeaning how you treat women. Here we are. Home sweet home. Remember this place? Kids? Rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Ugh. Get to the airport, talk to her. That's it. Slow it down, Slick. You're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport work for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am today. Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. Schultz, please calm down. We're here to escort you to the hangar. It is, pal. She's totally flipped.
On the floor, lady! On the fucking Clear floor! The hangar. Stop him! Stop him! He's a killer! Hey, come on! He's a psychopath! Move! A madman's coming! Hey, 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 hey. Oh, stop! stop. stop. Look out! I loved you once, Tony, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Now, so anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. I can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some uh, evidence. And I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? No, 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 that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey! It's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course! I'm a man of my word! Dave, let's go! Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Take us to the Bureau. Parking garage entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that gonna get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. Their particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. Oh, I've got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. And we'll follow him and see what we think. Sounds good.
You should be coming out here soon. Ooh, what's this? Nope. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. This it? Uh, another guy. So what do we do? Uh, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Something's coming. This is not the car we're looking for. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. There she is. Stay behind him, but don't let him see you. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism, or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. And let me work on some angles while you, uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation. And maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. He's pulling over. Stop down the road a ways. Go in and have a word. Harvey Molina. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. Jesus. You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Yeah. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this. But you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Successful? Oh, yeah. Take me back to the factory. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. based, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much? Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. Ah, he's already here. Hey, what's the problem, dog? Steve fucking Haynes. 
Of course it's Steve fucking Hain. It's always Steve Hain. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, that old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or Dylan dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere, so I'm gonna need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip. Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog. I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Hey, Mike. It's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. All right. Don't fuck it up. All right. Hello? What the? Ah, it's cracking. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Eeny meeny miny mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Now your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that, and we keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? <laughs> so you do want to mop, okay. Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. He's my go-to guy. I ain't changing that now. Well, should be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. Okay, that all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. <laughs> And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, 
As long as he can't do it without us. Hey, Les, that getaway car is parked where we need it. All right, give me the location. Rockford Hills. Good work. Call me when the rest of the prep's taken care of, okay? Hey, Lester. We got a fire truck. It's parked around the back of your place. Then I guess we can't put it off any longer. I'll get word out to the guys. Come out to my office and speak to me. Hey, how you doing? Ah, pretty good, under the circumstances. About to knock off a federal government building. Oh, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in. So life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need, put those on. Then what? Then head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So, I'm guessing drapes and scented candle aren't gonna do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. We will have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. Now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well, under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. And if you remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. Don't worry. Mike, you ready for me at the bureau? Yeah, it's almost that time, Frank. Link up with Moda and Welsh. Get the fire truck. Be ready to go as soon as I say so. Shit, we'll be good to go. Me and Gus will at least. You? I don't know, dog. Is it your first day? Go through the turnstile and head up. Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up. They don't work so hard. Building's closing any second. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. Hey, dog, we right around the corner. We got your gear in here with us. Shit's in motion, people. We raiding the bureau. Y'all ready for this? In and out, homes. Let's do it. Detonate the incendiaries, Frank. I'll get this turnout gear on. And up she goes. Let's get there. So Lester hijacked the emergency signal, right? Yep. We'll be the only idiots running into that burning mess. So don't worry. All right, let's get in there. Elevator. Come on, let's go. All right, Lester says these elevators should still be fine. Was he on that industrial strip painkillers or that hallucinatory weed at the time? Yeah, probably a little bit of both. 
cool, dog. Thanks for clearing that shit up. All right, we're going across to the far stairwell and up to the top floor. We gotta go across. Take the stairs to the top floor. Removable drive and the server stack on the far wall. I got the drive, let's go! We ain't got long! Follow me! I can't die here! Get to the right and torch this fire truck as soon as possible. I'm working on it. Yeah, because if they connect the dots, man, I don't know. Man, I'm working on it. Any minute, they'll be looking for us. I mean, those guys in the building you took down. If they knew, who else is going to know? It ain't worth thinking about, dog. Trust me. I'm going to get us there as fast as I can. All right, shit. Shit. I just don't want to run into something. Man, y'all don't want to run into Trevor, bro. That's who you don't want to run into. <laughs> You're right. So, uh... Take us to our get-out, avoiding the cops, the feds, and my dear friend Trevor Phillips. All right, man, I'll try. Try real hard, okay? I don't like sitting in this truck. We gonna get there when we get there. Chill the fuck out. Now that we're clear, I can probably tell you people. I didn't think we were gonna make it out of there. Uh, one of us didn't. We lost a dude, man. Oh, yeah, shit. I don't like speaking ill of the departed, know what I'm saying? But that dude was in over his head. Yeah, he wasn't top draw, but I thought we could carry him through it. I guess I thought wrong. Well, anyway, we made it out, so we got that to be thankful for. Hughes people will get his paycheck and the standard expenses. Yeah, man, unfortunately, Hugh wasn't really cut out for this work, man. His mind was on other things. Why you say that? 
Man, he told me he was writing a screenplay. Did he give you a copy? I'd like to read it. Why? Well, you forget. I'm in the business. This guy gets killed in a raid on the Bureau and we produce his picture? There's some free press. They call that, uh, pre-awareness. Yeah, all right, man. Sure. How very fine would. Hey, this Lester crib, ain't it? Keep your heads down, you hear? <laughs> well. What? I never thought I'd see you clowns again. We did it! <laughs> Fucking A-Ray, we did it! Ow! How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high-security government facility? It was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> Come here. Give me oh. some of that. Hey. Ow, ah. ow, ow, ow. Oh. Sorry, I forgot. You forgot my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Ugh, whatever. Hey, let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. We've got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just the shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just gonna get drunk as a skunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm oh. ill, okay? Give me a break! Cheers! <laughs> <coughs> Man, that's some foul ass shit! Oh. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I gotta go square things up with Davy and Dick Wild. Uh, for serious? Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them, and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I gotta do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. It's one way to look at it, eh? Huh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. Then I can figure out Trevor, you know? Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out. Davey, from now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. Ah, see? Davy, that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school, we like old-fashioned things. Newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know, you tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said, and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you can say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but... fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, Steve, come whoa. on, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him. Not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the guns down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather! What are they?
they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! Bullshit. Mike, this your frequency. That's all the end of the walkway. Top of those stairs. I ain't going anywhere, Davy, until some more of these guys kill each other. for the opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. T, you got the vantage point. Give Dave a hand. This is the guy who iced Brad, and would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. Haynes made it out of here, and there's another group of agents looking into our shit. Right now, you're not in a position to let our only friend in the Bureau get killed. You know how much attention you'll get if I go down today. It looks like there's a window. D, run for that stone bench by the pool. I'll come join you. So tell me, Davey, who are these bureau men trying to kill me? They're a corrupt division. Gone rogue or on the IAA payroll. Look out! Up there! How you doing up there? I thought you were the corrupt division. Corrupt? Only a little. Definitely below average. Very weather bird incoming. These guys don't have a funding problem. They'll be bringing bodies out of here by the truckload. What happens to Hayes? Norton gonna pop them at the water cooler on Monday? I'm not popping Steve. Jesus. I'll get close to him and I'll try to control him. That's if we get out of here alive. But I don't know how long I can keep it up. What are Merriweather doing at this party? You tell me. You're the one hitting their planes, trains, and boats. When you get down here, we can go. Just trying to earn a dime. Well, your dime put us on their radar, and I don't know how we're gonna get off it. Merriweather, at war in the USA. Get up, Mikey! My gun's getting hot! Keep your head down! I've got your number! Another Merriweather team on the walkway across from me! Looks like it! An appropriate public spinning to me, man! This kind of action on U.S. soil is why you shouldn't be operating! They're done! I gotta get out before someone clocks my chopper. Hey! Thanks, T. This is our shot. I'm making a run for the parking lot. Get clear and we'll talk! This many bodies, there'll be cars in the lot. Put as much dirt between you and this place as you can. And do not contact me until you're absolutely sure you're clear. This one's mine. Good luck. Stay safe, D! Before you disappear, we need to have a conversation. So conversate! Not here! Meet me behind the pawn shop in Morningwood. Well, that was fun. What are you doing smoking, huh? Come on. No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me, huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor. Listen, I've been meaning. Uh, you know, I've been meaning. I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been. What, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back 
or that you were, and always will be, a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, what Clear the fuck did you come day. back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head, but if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then, you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on, then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester, let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Oh, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh... Still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sordid, nasty, depraved history. But history, nonetheless. All right. There, you happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. Well, Michael, I see you're back around and making time for your mental health. Yeah, I don't know why I came. Hmm. What do you want, Michael? I don't know. I just... I just want... I want something that isn't this. You know? This caring about two things at once. I mean, I want to be a good dad. Love my family. You know, live the dream. But at the same time... I really want the other stuff, too. I suppose you haven't really considered the fact that by neglecting your therapy, you've guaranteed these behavioral relapses. No. I hadn't considered that. So, pal, what's the source of conflict this time? Things are kind of on the uptick, Doc. There's no greater concern than optimism. Where are we now? Ah, <laughs> uh, today's getting hard to keep track of who wants to kill me at any given moment. <laughs> Trevor still wants to eat my liver, but we're playing nice because we're working a job together. The FIB, they want me dead uh, because I'm no longer useful to them. The investor guy who hooked me up with the studio, he's pissed off because I didn't burn it down for him. But, the wife and kids are back under the roof. So, maybe things are okay. Mm-hmm. Well, family is important, Michael. But make sure you want them there for the right reasons. Any other acting out, friend? Tell me. <sighs> sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I I'm two different people. You know, I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. I want to be good, Doc. I really do. But then I get angry. Hmm. Anything else? Anything sexual? Well, you know, I've, I've been a good boy in that regard. I'm making real progress, Doc. We are making progress, Michael. You're finally listening to me. Great. So, I feel like there's progress in some areas and, you know, none in others. That's incredible stuff. I don't think I've ever heard such a barrage of denial, self-justification, and outright horror. The thing is, Michael, here, can we just get a quick photo together? Cheese. What is this? I really think I can't treat you anymore. The fact is, I'm in love with you. The fuck you talking okay, about, Okay, well, Doc? that's not true. <laughs> Good. You're learning. Good. What's going on? Nothing. It's just... I think you need a new therapist. And I'm leaving town. I've got a TV show. I'm gonna be famous. I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> think of the fucking tale. All those fucking bitches who called me pubehead. <laughs> oh, they'll be lining up to suck it now. You got a TV show. You! Uh, best not to think too closely about what I just said. It's not like I'll be using real names or anything. <laughs> I'm really discreet. <laughs> Bye now. Fuck. 
stop and think about it. Deep breaths. Calm. Calm. My lawyer says you can't prove defamation. Hey, I'm a nice person! You gotta tell people that! That's my life! Attention you were looking for? I trusted you, you prick! Hey, I'm a nice person! You gotta tell people that! You wanted me to listen to your problems? Now the whole country will listen to your problems. Don't you want to be famous? Hey, everybody wants to be famous. It's a primal urge. You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davey. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. Agent. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather. Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve. He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Uh, come I can't on. stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. Fuck. Oh, my God. 
Franklin, what's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? Uh, should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit! And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. The place is crawling with ballas, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there... <laughs> yeah, tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there you go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't wanna be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic, classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna find a way in. I got eyes on Lamar! Hey, Lamar! Let's go before they turn you into wood chip. Oh, crazy dude! Hey, homie! Yeah, 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 get up. Let's go. Come on, guys, they're here in force. You gotta move! Oh, oh Frank's here too! Hey, Frank! You thought he came by himself? Come on, man! Hey, it's a bunch of fucking ballers down there! This guy's up on the side there! By the way! Like all parties, hey, let's stay this side where Michael can cover. You got another guy hiding up there? Hey, dog, I'm all right. We're getting out of here. Hit the fucking floor. Man, this shit looks like overkill. More niggas on the way. You're out of your element. Man, my head. Broke a rib or something. I'm gonna take Lamar. Hey, I'm pulling out. Bye, thanks. Is we ever gonna get a proper introduction, dog? I can take care of myself. Go. T, call me, dog. I'm gonna come up to the unicorn to get horny on your office supply. Get in, man. We going. Shit, homie. You all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitches got to jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or a get-killed opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga. A realist. Cause in reality, all them fools wanna clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lift. Which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up, I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the biz ain't. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you sure? Cause I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs. Talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you been, uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. 
Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapping. I can make sure I ain't clapping. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And as a matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them dudes. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga Stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You show sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He'd go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as marks, dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stress sends you out there where they doing a the cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> man, I don't know. Man, shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them drawers, homie. You probably shit at yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the Great Plain Beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, please. So I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the second. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, yeah, nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas at the back, but damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga, I mean, Thank you. I guess it's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Man, you supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turnout for your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? 
Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out to pasture, homie. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who was that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey! Oh, flossing ass, nigga. I can see you wearing that. Make sure Get you Get in the back, out. huh? A limo, Jim? So like really? Stop messing around. It's, it's your premiere. The Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here. Which makes me a movie producer's kid. Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo, yeah. You see the Strizz Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Get back down here. And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited. V to the I to the P. Jimmy. Read my neck rolls. Entitled. E. N. T. Uh, titled. Cause I am. Jimmy! Oh, Pop, chill. I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Hey, we're here. You know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Oh, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. Look, we told you a thousand times you have to deliver on this, and you haven't. 
And uh, have you ever uh, thought maybe I shouldn't shoot sex scenes in a green screen kind of environment? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, the thought has uh, crossed my mind, I suppose. Thanks, Antonio. Hey, Give me nice and tight. Never... Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're going to see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Salma! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fake! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Uh, I'm Laszlo from uh, Famer Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh, oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Huh? Really modern stuff. Uh, pervert. <laughs> come on. No, no, no. no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um... Love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> Where the hell is she? <laughs> Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck. You're a dead man. Let's go, Jim. Come on. What's happening? Where's mom? Come on. The girls might be in trouble at the house. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. That's not a family car. All right, Jimmy, you keep yourself concealed. I'll go get the girls. You gotta save them, Pop. Daddy's home, you prick! You. Ah, one of them's in with Tracy! We gotta get in there, Michael! He's in there with our girl! Mom, Dad! Fuck! Come on! Fucking animal! Help me, Daddy! Help me! Ah, ah, it's gross! Ew! Are you okay? Are you alright, sweetie? Okay, okay. You two stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Clear the house! All occupants! Amanda, I think they're gone. Oh, I got you, you dick. Oh, uh, oh, it's gonna be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting. Oh, fuck. fuck. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off! <laughs> oh. Oh. Get Ooh. the fuck off me! <sighs> I, I thought I was on that guy! Oh. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? Alright, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. 
They came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you, nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. Uh, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Uh, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Uh. Hey. Sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, excuse all right, all me! Right, enough! You're... Enough! Thank you! <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. We'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front. Make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, or I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more, um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> That's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Oh, you want them to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's gonna take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. For... Well, he's had my back on every job since I got up and running again. He deserves a shot at the big one. Ah, uh, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, is gonna be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored cars and will be in charge of replacing the tires your stingers ripped out. Ah, okay, this one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. Harris! <laughs> Good. Feminine touch. She'll be able to find any back doors they got. This is the big one. Is there anything you want to go over? Okay. We need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. 
I think it could work. It will work, as long as we're ready to move now. Come on, I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. All right, let's go. Hey, Lester. First gauntlet's ready to go. All right, that's good work. The second gauntlet's in the lockup, modified and ready. All right, one less thing to worry about. We got the third one of them cars last. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need. We'll meet at the strip club. What's the 1040 form schedule C and SE? It means you're on the IRS radar. I haven't filed since I left grad school. Hey! Shows for paying customers only. Okay, okay, here, get dressed. All right, hurry up. Get changed, all right? This is the biggest day of your sorry little life. Hey, man. So we really doing this shit? All right, come on. Next door. Ah, our network hacker. Uh, don't be fooled by the CRT and the fax machine. The hardware here is state of the art. Cool. Hey, where's the rest of the crew? Outside. Hey, good luck, homies. I see y'all at Mission Row, all right? Oh, we'll see you there with approximately eight tons of gold. Four tons, not eight. All right, people, let's go. Get in the car, baby. We are about to make history. <laughs> All right, people, the trucks are on route. Let's get to the tunnel and wait. This the best you could do? What are you talking about? These fucking guys? They're cool. Look, we pulled that thing with them. It went fine. It went down okay, didn't it? You don't want me on board? I can walk. You setting these guys up for a fall? Huh? Is that what this is about? If they're the diversion, maybe it makes sense. This whole treachery thing is new to me. Don't listen to this asshole. It's all good. No one is being set up. I've heard that before. Shut it, Trevor. This is the big one. And fuck me if we don't need any doubts in the back of our heads. All right, the trucks aren't here yet. Let's sit tight. There's no need to panic. We weren't panicking. Something wrong? Nothing's wrong. We just gotta wait. You saying don't panic makes me want to panic. All right, here we go. This is it. All right, all right. I see the vans. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Seriously? Let's go. Drop the stinger. Okay, now keep driving. Let's go! Oh, shit. Move your ass! You do not want to die for this shit! Shit. Oh, oh, shit. Your move, buddy. No, 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 no! Get a fucking move on! Come on, move! Hurry up! Just hold on! Move, let's hey. go! Please, you get these ready! Please. Let's go, let's go! Yeah, we got a one-minute window before the GPS starts reading abnormal. Ooh, then let the slaughter come in! Who you no. like? This one. No. Oh, shit. Hey, please, whatever you yeah, need. Yeah, no shit. We need you. No, no. What's your name? Casey. Casey! Get in the fucking truck. Let's go! Go, go, go! Get in! Let's go! Let's go. Come on! Go, move! Your welfare! Quit whimpering. Next stop, the Union Depository. Shit, 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 shit! Relax, man. I'm the one who should be crapping myself. 
I'm about to rob the biggest bank on the planet. Fuck! Fuck! Look! Casey! I need you calm. You're no use to me when you're freaking the fuck out. What you want to be right now is useful. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you like half a minute ago. <laughs> Here you go. Gets me every time. Onion 86 in the building. Eggplant 22 in sight. Stand by. They're here. Don't do anything stupid. Let's go, pal. Authorization? Good. Good? Good. Access is good. Courtesy, escort is go. Take us to it. Follow me. Hurry it up, Chubbs. How's things? Uh, good. Yeah, uh, um... Uh, fine. I bet the freeway is an absolute B-star-star star CH today. <laughs> Tell me when it isn't. And you gentlemen have to sit in those trucks, bored out of your minds, staring at more money than you know what to do with. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Collection team is here. Now that is some kind of door. Hey, so you know what to do? Uh huh. Come on. Okay. job to do. Absolutely. Boy, oh boy. <whistles> Woo! There is a lot of gold in here. We're just holding on to it for the Chinese. Well, you ever want to keep it in the United States? <laughs> sure, take what you can carry. Uh, <laughs> all right, come on, come on, come on. We got a schedule. Get it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh. These are heavy. A little over two tons of pallet. Yeah. So what's that worth? Gold's trading at uh, around seventeen hundred to two thousand an ounce. Thirty-five ounces a kilo, give or take. A thousand kilos a ton. So that's two hundred million dollars or thereabouts. Give me a. Sec yep. That sounds about right. Collection team has the cargo. Got many jobs after this? No, this last one. He's retiring. <laughs> Exploring other opportunities. Hey, you know your chance of an early death increases dramatically when you retire. Yeah, I'll bear that in mind. Hmm. This much metal ain't normal, is it? Quite irregular. Order came down this morning, but the computer cleared it. Well, let's hope no one untoward gets word. That's what you and the rest of the security gets paid for, isn't it? Cargo's in the loading bay. 
Get her on board! All right, come on, let's not take up any more of this gentleman's time than we have to. Ah, that's it! Let's go! Hey, I'm not feeling so well, and I hey, thought maybe I could on, just, Casey, you know... Hey, come on, Casey, suck it up! You can't handle the hangover, Case. Do not overindulge. That's right. This man right here will teach you a little something about moderation. Cargo is gone. Don't worry, Case. We move this metal at Mission Row, and you're all done. Control. Pickup was good. How's it looking up there? Not good, man. Merriweather know we took the UD. They out there looking for you. Fuck. You got a solution for this problem? We got this signal I had. I can use it to keep you away from them clowns. Fuck. I hope you got a solution for this problem. Yeah, dog, we own it. Okay, 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 the link's active. Now you can control the traffic lights. Let's go. Good luck. Hey, we got it. Man, this shit seem easy enough. Here we go. We got a green light. Oh, shit, look out. More Merriweather's coming from the north. Now far left. They're waving us through. <laughs> Hustle up! You guys, redistribute the weight. Here they are. Hey, good work, F. Ah. Damn, I can't believe we got the mail. Damn right, all without firing a bullet. Ah, oh, don't forget our do. case here, uh, huh? The lead ain't no, gonna no, be please, wasted. No, no, please, please don't. Now wait. Biggest score of our lives, we ain't taking any chances. Sorry, Pally. Gee. Well, no, it ain't no, a chance. No, please, please. He's in on it. Huh? Get up. What? Hey, get up. You tell him something that ain't on the news already. This whole thing was your idea. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. Not a word. Exactly. Yeah, I, I was jumped. I, I, I never saw a thing. Go! You're fucking going as soft as that old flaccid boy in your pants. This divorce couldn't come soon enough. Fucking A! Yeah! yeah oh, man! Fuck! Work first, bicker later, man, all right? You! Hold the perimeter. Everyone else, in your cars. We leave while we can. Hey, what's stopping me from riding off into the sunset, huh? With my saddlebags a-bulging. Huh? Lester's the only guy who can flip metal without making a noise, dipshit. You want to try? Be my guest. All right. Lead the way. You're on me. Calling all units. Very weather PMC record unit deployment. Sucks, man. Fucking trucks all over. I don't see the vehicles. Okay, seal the tunnel and get a ground team in there. Stat. All right. Those guys will take care of the metal. Lester's meeting us at my place. Hang on. We're, we're just leaving the gold. Yepper. Hundreds of millions of dollars worth of gold. Hey, T, have a little faith. What? <coughs> faith? In you, buddy? All right, in Lester, in the process. Come on. <laughs> 
We've been through it a million times. Any fool can take a score. It's getting away clean that makes the difference between those who walk free and those who do not. <laughs> man, I wouldn't know what to do with that shit. I'm guessing you wouldn't either, man. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I just have some trusting issues right now, Franklin. If we get away with this, if, and it's a big if, man, then I can finally really retire. Watch it, Frank. Michael likes to retire with a very interesting exit strategy. Come on, man. I mean, we just took the biggest score in the history of scores, and you bitches just want to moan. My mama never loved me. My friends never loved me. I'm mad because I'm rich. I'm sad because I'm successful. Man, this shit is pathetic, both of you. Oh, I am so sorry. Hey, we did it, assholes. We did it. Gentlemen! Ah, uh, Lester. We have just made history. Ah, uh, I don't want to ask a dumb question here, but where's the metal? I've got it on lockdown for a few days while I'm waiting for the go-ahead to melt it and move it. Where? Where? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Where is just the point? Let's say somebody gets pinched. Well, then where is the evidence? Or if anyone gets any silly ideas, then they'll just be futile. So we can take it easy, knowing that, uh gonna be a few days before Judas here shows his true colors. Really? Now? Yeah, now, sugar. Why don't you take a moment while you're sitting on that big fat pile of cash to chill the fuck out and realize what's done is done? Whatever you say. Well, this is a good time. That's his fucking fault. Fuck, fuck, fuck you, man! Hey, 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 hey! God. For a couple of Midwest stick-up artists, you guys sure have become a pair of whiny West Coast douchebags! What the fuck is wrong with the West Coast? Oh, nothing. I love it here. Everyone's so numbed by the sun that if you use a three-syllable word, they think you're a professor. Man, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, you high and mighty weasel! And you don't talk down them to these fucking idiots! Hey! Leave Lester alone! Oh! Oh, you and Lester together? Oh, now that makes fucking sense! Oh, for fuck's sake, man! You all are assholes! Man, I gotta go calm down, homie. This shit was real illuminating. Franklin, sorry. Come on back, have a beer or something. Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. No. Nah. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you gonna A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, Try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Buh bye bye Man, fuck you. Franklin? Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right, I'm coming.
What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting, and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? Oh. Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the, um... Oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever hole he hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right, I say... Kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dawg. I know, okay, but I, I, I'm sorry, I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both that you boys are at the foundry in Marietta Heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. All right. Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. We, uh, heading to the foundry place. Hey, look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dawg. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Hey, buddy. Who want to clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk Where bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Oh, please, nigga, fuck off. Man, every fool in this town got somebody who want to clap. Yeah, but that applies to some fools more than others. I heard that. Nigga, I'm talking about you. Everybody in this town want to take a pop at your ass. He's lining up, camping and shit, trying to take a shot at the big chick. Ain't that the truth. But ain't nobody pissed off as many motherfuckers as Michael and Trevor, dawg. Shit, nigga, you play big, you stand to lose. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Look, man. Michael and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. Hey, you're not saving me, you're saving him! Ah, you're saving this fat fuck! 
Man, y'all gotta keep y'all fucking heads right and end this shit. If not, man, I'll put bullets in both of you motherfuckers. Hey, they here? I know them when I see them, homie. They creep. All right, good. Y'all hear that? Now, if we doing this shit, man, it's either now or never. Come on, Trevor. Fuck it! Where do you want me? All right, man. You go over there. All right, where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Your sector. Chill, dog. You gotta wait. some company. Nice to see you so worked up. Next time, I'll leave you to it. Go oh, look out, more agents! I'm in the shit, man! Drop, fucker! Everyone, a gunship! Incoming! Can you take it down? like we did it. Shit, for now? Exactly, for now. So, what's next, huh? We're we just gonna wait around till someone else comes to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned again? Oh, fight me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> Hell yeah, let me see. There's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that triad motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch? We want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Oh, man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals, Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? 
Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you put in the ground, Wheels! Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching! W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G! Wei Chang! Wei Chang! And Franklin's pal, Stretch! Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Check it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him! All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the Beach Club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. Hey, Lamar. That was above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> a nigga just want to be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's hood. Mike and Trevor, too. We grateful. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. Nice you creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, we'll handle your candle. Lay low, my nigga. Hey, the old man's here. He's sleep in the beast club. That was him. Hey, I got our plane. You dudes ain't gonna have no more triads coming out. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Who's up? We still gotta do stretch and agent Haynes. stretch tolerate or the ones that worked this pole last night man that's bullshit you want to see i'll show you right here nigga watch hey who this shape he... no, 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 hey no, man he got stretch man please, roll on his ass no, oh, 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 this fool smashed in the home i'm clear your pal, Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who kicked us, homie. Thanks. He's all we got, man. What happens next is plant Steve Haynes in the dirt. I'm moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! Grr, this is crap! Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this frame right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. So, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi. Oh, my God! The guy! What's his name? He shot him! Hey, Lester! I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. The Meriwether team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, 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 whatever. I'll go up there and get him. Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Ah! 
I'm the definition of SP. I'm the most suspicious person you'll meet. Reloading! You fucking pussy! I'm out! Dead. Wait, wait, hear me out! Ugh. No more talking! Got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliff off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. You know, you're a, you're a resourceful guy getting past those train killers. I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't. And the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me. You'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I got my own company! Trevor Phillips Industries! Oh, yeah! A, a fellow entrepreneur! Let me buy a steak! And give you money to grow! I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold-rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. Follow Here we are, Slick. With a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Good. Franklin? I'll be here. Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch. You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism, the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going you want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? 
No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man. You two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh.